Congratulations! Slur Collies gifted a tier 1 subscription to Quat Ever Buy. Yo, 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 hello, how are we? Hopefully we're doing good, hopefully we're doing sexy. Hi, Louie, hello. Pikachu. Hello. 11, 11, Louie, tier one, just subscribed for two months, queefing RN. Oh. Is it... I don't... <sighs> I'm not sure I know how to re respond to that. Um, uh, <laughs> thank you for the sub, Louie, and thank you for the gifted sub, Callie. Oh, my God. Callie gifting a sub? Is the world ending? Hi, Platypus. Hi, Jim. Hi, Calyx Knight. Hi, Blueface. Hi, Alice. Hi, Crimson. Hi, Daft Python. Hi, Scopes. Oh, okay. Good luck on getting rewards, Scopes. I believe in you. I actually can't believe it's been that long. Wait, what the fuck? 
Okay, uh, good luck in your game. You get like 50 gifted. I know I'm messing with you. Does it say how much you've gifted? Yeah, you've literally gifted 61. I was fucking around. I look great today. Thank you. What the hell? It's so sweet of you. I just came back from Slee's house. We won the Super Cup. Who cares? Preseason tournament. I came back from Slee's house. I was hanging out with um her and Ellie and all the other pets. My legs shaking like I gotta pee. No, my legs are just usually doing this. I don't have to pee. I peed before I went live. How many, okay, before I show this TikTok, how many of you know? Yes, my friend. How many of you know the TikToker, like, Jeremy wow, Fragrance? He's like, he's like some, like, Evil fragrance. Platypus 386 gifted a tier one subscription to Alisteca 1700. Yo, what the hell? Platypus, let's Holy go. Smokes. A scam train has started. Holy smokes, a scam train has started is right. Oh my god. Thank you so much. What the hell? Platypus, thank you for the gifted sub to Alice, even though she's sub points piece of started. shit about fucking Real Madrid, whatever. Thank you for the gifted sub. I appreciate it. What the hell? Y'all starting off the stream with a scam train. Jeremy Fragrance a goat. Okay. Literally right when I went live, this popped up on my for you page. Tell me, tell me what we think. <laughs> Guess my fragrance. I don't know what is it. I layered. Oh, you naughty boy! You're trying to confuse me. Oh, you don't do that. <laughs> Layer fragrance. <laughs> Dude. Please tell me someone else has seen those TikToks where he tries to guess someone's fragrance. It's so good. Can you react to- yeah, sure, I'll react. Let's see. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> the fuck is this? Hi, twin. <laughs> What's up with Roger from American Dad? Shut the fuck up, Bright. Hi. What the fuck? What an asshole. Bro, kill him! The guy should get mauled! Maul him! What an asshole! What an asshole! What an asshole! What an asshole! What an what an asshole! Asshole. There's no way! Bro, this guy fucking sucks! What the fuck? Bro, that puppy should maul him! I've never seen Frozen 2. I've only seen Frozen 1, so it wouldn't be a genuine reaction. What the fuck? Bro, he tried to tell him twice! <laughs> Zhao Ping ready to crash out? Bro, he should have crashed out! What the fuck? Chen means dog, by the way. It's it's not slang, it's French. You said it's dangerous around that corner? Yeah, man, I would not go. Uh, this guy pops up. This guy pops up in my for you page. He's pretty funny. Hey, hey, I'm a dangerous boy. You're gonna regret it, man. I'm a raised a dangerous boy. You're gonna regret it, all right. Ah! Oh! Oh! oh my god. You okay? He gave me hair. 
Did they say you're not allowed to cut it? Yeah, and they pinned me down, made me eat four to five lollipops. That's a lot. Smacked me in the back of the head. You had to bite the lollipop? Well, I didn't. They made me lick the Tootsie Pops, but I couldn't have the toots. No toots all all. I used to look at the world as a big, beautiful land of opportunity. I used to look at trees and go, wow, that's like nature, like really like. And now I look at a tree and go, f that. No, I'm, I'm, no. Connor, don't. No, dude. don't try to stop Connor, me, man. I'm giving these guys please, a piece of my dude, life. Please, Connor. Connor, dude, please. Oh no. What was that? Oh, scream? They did the lollipop thing. Really? I tried to sneak a Tootsie, but then they. they... Did they flick your teeth? Yeah. Open your lips and flick your teeth. You said it's dangerous. Oh, that's such a horrible feeling. Eww. I would watch Frozen 2 if it didn't get. <laughs> anyway, what is this? If he sets up this poor baby again, oh, yeah, so I'll give you for sure, huh? So, no, so what to go out of here. <laughs> How many times does he set him up? This, I hope this dog hates him. Look at him. That dog should hate him. What a piece of shit. Did I post any more good ones I'm gonna watch on stream? Uh let's watch the let's watch the fiend incidents together. The fiend incidents pretty good. For those of you that haven't seen the fiend incident, it's uh you might be surprised. You might get shot. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot the first one was Patrick. Are this like a. Okay, are people doing this on purpose? Like, is it like... There's no way. Don't worry, Brandon, it is. Okay, that is obviously on purpose. Fiend is the, uh, holy fuck, Travis Scott. I almost forgot his fucking name. That's his, his song. And this is... <laughs> oh, the Patrick one is so good. <laughs> oh, holy shit. It's literally just people at a concert. The mine <laughs> The Minecraft pig one is so good. I love it. Change the stream title? No. Yeah, you better connect with that controller. Oh, yeah, am I? Or what? What do you gonna do if I don't, huh? Sorry. 
I got a little too into that. It was just piss it was pissing me off how the controller wasn't uh in the right spot. Stop it! I don't wanna make give me a new name. At least make it a funny one. Chopper so dude. Goku kills Chopper with a flick of his finger. I can't wait to listen to it again. Yay! Let's go! Dropped my kid's comedic timing in the Discord. Let's check this out. <laughs> When's Arsenal's first game? Poopy Pants Paps. That is a pretty good one. Killed by Flick of the Bean. Goku! Dragon Ball Spoil Arenas! Oops. Today, 10 hours, oh, I'll probably be asleep then. If we're being real. Give me, a, okay, give me a new name. I don't want to be Paps LFT. Give me like a, a different one for the love of God. Oh, th by the way, this song is amazing and it's been stuck in my head. <laughs> that's not accurate that's accurate most passionate arsenal fan bro veckage and i literally lost like 150 mmr in one session i'm not joking last stream was not great That's okay, Alice. Good catch. Because the vibes were horrible. It was horrible vibes. Dude, it was... I don't even know how to describe what happened. That probably won't fit a manual. It'll probably cut off at like the G. That's also, it's pretty fucked. <laughs> I think Emmanuel's only comedy is just being mean. You're like minus 80. No, bro, it was it was such bad vibes, man. It was just like Okay, I'm like over it. It's not a big deal. Don't worry. I'll I'll be live on YouTube when I key my first game. I got you. Let's go, Louie. W. Okay, so what happened is Vekage and his chat devised like a plan to like make a joke to like rile me up and like get me like upset and like you know get me like yapping like I usually do and like it was just like I'm like I'm over it like now like there already was apologies and it's fine but like it was like a, a, they tried to do like a joke to rile me up about like some, like Vekage was basically, Vekage in his chat basically created this like fake person that was arguing with me on Vekage's chat. So what he was doing and he, he was like relaying me the supposed messages. And it was just like a stupid fake argument like, it would have been, like, it would have been funny if it was only, like, a couple messages and then he was like, dude, this person's not even real, I'm fucking with you.
But what happened is it literally like they literally kept it going for like at least an hour and I was getting so frustrated ar arguing with this fake person and that they were like purposely like trying to make me mad. Then they like this, you know, the fake person, the fake person started to bring up like religion and stuff and said like I'm treating f like just basically like saying all like again it wasn't a real person they were just making stuff up as like a chat and as Vekage to like try to like make me as like riled up as possible and then what happened is I was like really tilted arguing with this fake person for literally like an hour and it just kept going and it kept going and it kept going and then the worst part is what we were talking about had such bad vibes from me. It started to spread to like my YouTube chat and partly my Twitch chat too. And like, just like bringing up like religion or whatever they were talking about, started to get a whole bunch of religious people. And then there was like fucking like 50 more people on YouTube and Twitch combined that I had to ban that were like harassing me and just saying shit and then people coming in on alt accounts and it was just like a it was like a fucking domino effect and it was horrible and then we literally lost like every game we, li we literally lost every game i started yesterday's session at 17 30 and i ended at like 17 10 or sorry 16 10 that's how bad it was Like, it, it would have been funny. See, the thing is, it didn't even end with him saying, like, oh, that's, like, a made-up person or whatever. Like, it ended with us just losing, like, the fucking 10th game in a row. And I was like, okay, like, I'm just gonna go, like, GG's. And, like, I never even found out that it wasn't a real person until after I, ra I raided him after I ended stream. Like, it was, like, a joke that went too far. It was a joke that went too far and the bad vibes bled into my streams. And I was like, really like, I was like really not happy. And I was like, really not, I was like actually kind of upset. It like, it like made Rocket League horrible. It made stream like, you know, besides like my obviously, like, you know, my, my regulars being, you know, usually great. It, it brought in so many weirdos and so many people that were just like shitting on me and it was like really bad vibes. Do I train my centers and assists? No, not really. Like, like I said, it would have been funny if it was like, you know, a couple fake messages and then and then he was like, dude, I'm fucking with you. Like, that person's not even real. And then I would have probably laughed and been like, dude, you're an asshole. What the hell? And like, it would have been like a funny joke. But he, like, they literally kept it up for like an hour plus. Like, it was actually crazy. It was not fun. It was like genuinely frustrating as fuck. Clip farming? I guess. It's like, bro, how are you going to keep that going for that long when you saw that I was, like, genuinely getting upset? Like I said, it would have been a funny joke or prank, whatever, if it was just, like, for a minute or two. But it literally went on for, like, at least an hour, probably more. It was, like, really frustrating. Is Vekage banished forever? No. They already apologized. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm already over it. I'm already over it. They already apologized. I don't care. I'm just explaining what happened. Yeah. I remember logging off Twitch for a bit and then coming back to stream and it was still going so bad. Yeah, it was like really not fun for me. I can't lie. Like it like I really hate that 
not only did it like was it like bad vibes for me mentally and for like you know brought in a bunch of other weirdos i hate that it like affected my like my gameplay and like i lost so many rank points too and now i have to recover all of that just because it was such a fucking horrible session it's not fun I've only had duck a couple times, but it's pretty good. Half of Twitter arguments are fake people. I've been off Twitter for over a month now and it's been great. Anyway, yeah. That's how I lost a hundred like fucking 30 rank points. Oh, let me look at my tracker. It probably looks crazy. Bro, at one point I was like 1752 like the other day, like literally like yesterday or some shit. Bro, look look at my fucking tracker, man. Look at this. Look how bad that is. I, I literally went from this says I went from 1718 to 1605, bro. That's literally in one day, man. That's so stupid. That was not fun. Not by, ch not by choice though. I could easily make a new Twitter account. So it is by choice. I don't, I don't want to. Yeah, right. Twitter just gets worse and worse and worse, bro. I mean, Brayden, I think Trump knows his audience and he's trying to win that vote. I think it's very funny that if there's anyone that genuinely believes Elon Musk, like, isn't a conservative, like, I, they have to have brain worms. He literally dick rides Donald Trump, like. It's so funny. My vote is locked in for Brent Peterson 2024. You don't think his conservative is a fascist? I don't think they're, I don't think they're mutually exclusive. I think he's, I think he's both. Let's go, Louis Song, Louis Song. Goku for Prez. I would write in Akira Toriyama, but unfortunately he died earlier this year. Yummy water. If I run for president, will I have your vote? Depends on your policies, but I guess, yeah. I haven't played Rocket League since last stream too, so I'm probably just gonna start off slow, but whatever. Louie, I rock with your production. Oh, wait, actually, there's someone that popped up on my For You page yesterday on TikTok that I know you'll like. Um... I got to find him.
kind of Why is this not loading? Hello? Okay, it's gonna make me go on my phone, huh? Okay. Dunder Wifflin? It's a decent name. I'll find this. I am going to scream. Absolute. Get the fuck out of here. Good night, platypus. Sleep well. Oh, here it is. I found it. I found it. Okay, Louis, tell me if you like this. What'd you miss? Nothing. I die in Dude, fuck off. TikTok desktop app is horrendous. All right, this. I'm probably going to get copyrighted for this, but whatever. If clarity was made in 2024. Where the past comes back to life. This is XQC if he was cool. Pain, it was worth it every time. Still right before we crash, cause we both know how to sense. Has to be through channel points. Your glass and I drown in you to request again. music. You wish you had this much aura, Emmanuel. <laughs> Definitely could do use some better dance moves though. There's one more. There's one more that I liked. This one. Uh it's uh if bartender was made in 2024. Woke up with my girl last night, so I went to the club. Put on a fresh white suit and a mini coupe sitting on dubs. I'm just looking for I somebody to talk to and show me some love. If you know what I mean, uh -huh. Everybody jacking me as soon as I stepped in the spot. 200 bitches in the building, ain't none of them hot. Except for this pretty young thing that was working all the way at the top. Shawty, what is your name? Ooh, she made us drinks to drink 
What is he wearing? Swag. Schlag has aura. I don't know who that is, Louis. Emmanuel's intimidated by Schlag's aura. That's crazy. Hi, Shamzo. Nice stream streak. Pulsing inside me. Bro, you can't deny that guy's cool as hell. Thirteen strand thing? Oh my god. Hold on. What is this? I can't, I can't do Instagram. It, there's no volume on, on desktop app. It's going to blow up my ears. I can't do it. I'm on his dick. Emmanuel's no, I'm defending him. Emmanuel's being mean. I don't, I don't know how that's like, not like a automatic thing to add the volume slider, but. Alright, I'm gonna go live on YouTube as well. <laughs> Excuse me. Also, Christina, you say like you're not on Netspend's dick 24-7. Riding, riding and bouncing on that shit is crazy. All right, I'm live on YouTube. Hey, y'all should go ahead and drop a like on my YouTube. I just went live. Callus, you love that, don't you? Because your PC sucks, Emmanuel. Oh, Louie, that sounds sick. I still can't believe I spent $10 on that game. Worst $10 I've ever spent in my whole life. I'm here for Dragon Ball Peak? Hell yeah. Welcome on in. It is. Dragon Ball is peak. Welcome to the right side of history. Welcome to the right side of history, my friend. I didn't even, I, if I completed the battle pass, it would have been different. I didn't even enjoy it. I stopped enjoying it. Can I unban you, please? Dude, I don't know who the fuck you are. How, you're chatting in my chat. How are you? You're not even banned. Hop on Valve, fuck it. Why would I ever do that shit?
Bro, why would I unban you? I've literally already unbanned you once. Get the fuck away from me, bro. Dude, you're such a fucking weirdo. Uh, what is wrong with you, genuinely? I literally... Why am I even giving you the fucking time of day? You're so weird. I literally unbanned you. Because you said like, oh, sorry, I just want to chat. And then I unbanned you and then you came back a week later and said, I hate gays. So I banned you again. I literally have already given you two chances. Hi, Papa Schmigs. Bro, leave me alone. I literally gave you, like, a second chance to not be homophobic, but you were homophobic twice. What did you join into? Thanks for the follow, Beast. You joined into... Dude. <laughs> there was this person that I banned a couple weeks ago because he said, I hate gays. And then he said, I felt like, you know... Out of the kindness in my heart, I unbanned him. I don't know why. Because I didn't look at his chat history, I guess. And I unbanned him because his unbanned request was like... His unbanned request was like... Um, like, I'm sorry, like I won't do it again. I was just messing around or something like that. So then I unbanned him and he came back a couple days later. And then he said the same shit again. So obviously I just banned him again. And now he's in my YouTube chat a week later saying, please unban me. I won't do it again. Bro, fool me. Fool me once. You're not getting unbanned a second time within a week. Hello, Beza. Mwah. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe for real. I can't believe he came to my YouTube chat to ask for an unban again, man. What the fuck? <laughs> I did not see Vekage's apology vid. Is it good? Can't wait to see this. This is going to be Vekage's apology vid for what I was talking about earlier, probably. I can't wait to see it. I'm so excited. I like the song. I already had an apology vid. I had an apology stream. WDS underscore you were there. Tier one. Weren't Just you? subscribed for 32 months. 32 wool. You have a weird zoom in on top left corner of gameplay? Oh. Yeah, it's for chat. When I get into a game. Yo, Eagle. I'll pin your message for now. Why not? Eagle, thank you for the the sub. 32 months. God damn. How are you? A YouTuber apology video. I feel like... What do, I, what do you mean? Like when Pewdie when PewDiePie said the N word hard R and then so, like did like an apology video type shit. Who is Vekage? Why is he so important? Vekage? Vek lol. Vek is gonna show me a bit later. I can't wait. Hey, hell yeah. Well, I like it. Splash. It sounds nice. Sorry, you're a little pussy. What? Uh, Emmanuel still hasn't given me a name to use. Uh, 
Emmanuel just wanted my name to be Paps LFT. Sexo Kaiba? What does that even mean? Am I supposed to know what that means? This sounds like some shit Christina would like. Christina, you know this guy? I've never seen Yu-Gi-Oh. I haven't seen Yu-Gi-Oh since I was a child. I haven't seen Yu-Gi-Oh since I was like 10. What's up, Dwifty? How are you? Yu-Gi-Oh is the card game, right? And anime, yeah. Sex. Great. What a beautiful name. Let's play some threes. Christina only likes net spin. Yu-Gi-Oh! was one of those shows that, like, I watched when I was a kid. Like, here and there, whenever it came on TV. I never, like, actually, like, sat down and watched it all the way through or something. How many times do I press the button when I wall dash once? Twice. I did a wall dash tutorial on my YouTube. I just posted it. If you look at my controller... VKG LOL just raided with eight viewers. Good night, Shlee. If you look at my controller, you can see every time I'm dashing, I'm just pressing it. I'm pressing it twice. Oh my god! Drippe, you're fucking weird. What? Jesus Christ. What a comeback. Are you a slur now? Vekage! Thank you for the raid. I heard you have an apology video to show me. You have to... Like... There's so many mechanics in Rocket League that require you to move your fingers pretty quick. No, I don't spam it. I just double press it. Splash, you're such a YouTube head. Does this person have any other chats? Bro, this person literally has three chats. They chatted one time in, four, in April 13th, 2020 and said, no problem, bro. And then their next two chats are, what the fuck? Are you a T-slur now? Bro acting like he's been around. Bro's acting like he's actually been around. That's fair enough, Splash. The Twitch mobile app can be a little bit silly. President Gary Johnson. I'll never forget what Classic said to me, Emmanuel. I never months, will. Three months away from four years. He fell to his knees. Why are people like that? Wait, what the fuck? This is the person that just followed me. Buist. Oh my god. He literally just followed me and was in chat. The Twitch mobile app is ass. Yo, Gary. Holy shit. Can you believe it's been that long? Oh my god, thank you for the sub. I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, it started out. Sorry, Shalee. I won't count it as the name change if you want to try again. Thank you for the sub, Gary. I cannot believe it's been that long. Actually, crazy.
Some people I'm always just surprised that like I've known them for so long. You prefer no music, really? I feel like it depends on my mood, but I would say the majority of the time I, I don't, to be honest, when I'm not live, I don't really game with music, but I always have some sort of background noise on. Whether I'm like watching somebody stream, or I'm watching a YouTube video, or I'm watching anime or something. I like always have some sort of background noise, but I, I usually don't really listen to music unless I'm live, I think, I would say. But when I, when I streamed on YouTube, like when I first started streaming years and years and years ago, I used to play Rocket League with just like no fucking just the game audio for hours. That was crazy. Hi, Remedy. I'll give you another name change because it's not showing. That's fair enough, Splash. That's fair enough. I get that totally. Give me another, another name. I'll change it. Get in there. Damn. Tie the game. Oh, it's not looking great. Actually, you're actually so right. Why do I not play sports talk? Hi, Zylo. How are you? Well, this sounds like a banger. Nice. I love music like this. It's such a good vibe. All right. Yo, if the apology video is not good enough, not only will I take away Vekage's mod, I'll ban him too forever. Forever. Is this French? Sounds French. Well, yeah, it sounds French. Kind of? Not really, I don't know. I hear, I, I'm hearing like French and then like Spanish. That's probably just Spanish or something. This doesn't sound Portuguese. This is American. Anyone know the language of this? On some twilly shit, this is skibbity for real. Should be fine here. That was almost really bad. Did we get a shout out for Beckage, by the way? Hello, Nemesis. How are we?
How are we? How are we? Hell yeah, Splash. I can't wait. This is Squanch. Did, did anyone know what, what language that was? Anyone? Who requested that? Hello? Coach toy. <laughs> it's not fucking Latin. Shut the fuck up. What was that? What was that? I'm going to lose it. It sounded Spanish and then like French at parts. What the fuck was that? I do not splash. I do not. What do I do though? What do you do? Did nobody, just n the person who requested it, just didn't, uh, it's French plus something else? Was it multiple languages? I doubt it. You heard Minion? All right, anyway, show me the fucking video. Oh, it's a clip. It's a clip. I can't wait to see this. I'm so excited. I mean, yeah, it could be multiple languages, but it's probably fucking not. It's probably just one language. Hello? It's not even close to what I was saying. All right, let's see how this is. Emmanuel has a fucking talent for taking what someone says and just fucking having the worst possible interpretation every time. Literally a fucking... You, you have a talent for it. You're in taxes, but also IT help break code and fix stuff with taxes. Oh, it's like a combination of both, huh? Plat... Plat 2 is better than SSL? You wish. Oh, wait. <laughs> Broken my balls for hiding air. Pitching my nuts. That's the present. This is the same present. Th that's your apology? That's your apology. You sent me that and said, here, I apologize. That's what you fucking send me? I just wanted to say I'm sorry You're so fucking crazy. Can you imagine it's not working? <laughs> you are so fucking cringe. You sound like Finn on Adventure Time doing an auto-tune part. Look at your new badge. What's Which one's new? I can't, I don't know what your badges generally are. 
You saw Alien Romulus? Ooh, was it good? No spoilers, no spoilers, because I do want to watch it. But is it good? I've seen Alien 1. Uh, I've seen Prometheus. I've seen Alien Covenant. I need to, I've seen like Predator vs. Alien. So I do plan on watching Romulus. Is it good? Is it a se direct sequel or whatever? Hi, Wills. How are you? On God, Papa Schmeegs. What do y'all think? Should I forgive Vekage? Was that good enough? What do we think? Oh, hell yeah. I thought you looked prettier, Callus. No, no, no. Oh my god, Vekage. You have so many fucking haters. Slur Collies gifted a dear one subscription to Xylo Hydraulic Press. It's actually insane. Fuck, I want to watch it. Maybe I'll go see it in theaters. Uh, one of these weekends with Shlee. That sounds like a great idea. Yo, Callie! Thank you for the gifted sub to Xylo, even though Xylo does not deserve it. Wait, I got a raid? Don't yeet us. Thank you for the raid. What the hell? Are you still here? Did you chat? I didn't even see you raided. Vekage, if Louie helps you, that, then you're going to actually make a good one. Where rank am I? I am plat trying to get diamond. I'm going for diamond rewards this season. It'll be like my new peak. What the hell, Papa Schmeeks? Louie is a songwriter, producer, everything. Do you have any tips, Matthew? Are you are you diamond or above? I think I am hard stuck, but 50 gifted subs today for the set. What do you mean 50 gifted subs today? I'm so confused. What are you talking about? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You've gifted like 64. Like, what are you referring to? Yeah, Vekage and? What rank am I? I'm plat two division three right now. You're GC2 currently? Do you have any tips for like someone like who's like plat trying to get diamond? Just wait till we 1v1, Louie. You're gonna you're gonna get the wrath. I'm so confused. It literally says. Epsler Callis, they've gifted 63 subs in the channel. Like, what are you talking about? Play simple and get good in the basic mechanics that help you a lot rank up. Okay, I'll try that. Thank you very much. You don't need to air dribble at all to get GC. Really? People always tell me, like... I've always heard people say, like... You know, air dribbling and flip reset... Like, learning mechanics is, like, what will, like, rank you up. Who the hell told you that, Kim? Oh, Dismal's here? Hi, Dismal. You're gonna DDoS me? I'd still beat you. That's how bad you are. No, Flakes Flakes did like a no mex to SSL series, didn't he? Or was it like no mex to to SSL? Smart challenges and good defense wins games. Okay. 
I'm gonna have to practice that, thank you. I think I've been practicing my mechs too much. Yeah, what Splash said. Do not solo queue. I usually solo queue though. Is that bad? Flakes was really good at the game, but I feel like the game has like evolved past him now. Can I add you? Sorry, I don't I just add people I play with usually. Hi dehydrated, how are you, sweetie? What the hell? Splash was just talking about his job. We were talking about it together. What the hell? Pop off of Splash's dick, bro. My day's been pretty good. I haven't done a lot today. I just like worked out, ate some food. I, hu I hung out with um, Ashley today and her, her, her dog. Her dog's not, um, not doing well and was diagnosed with cancer again recently so i was just spending i was spending some time with um her at ashley's house i'm doing threes right now is that okay what kind of question is that papa schmigs Yeah, I, unfortunately, I don't think, um, I don't think her dog's gonna be getting better, but, yeah. I feel bad for the poor mama. She was doing very well today though, which is nice. I I got Taco Bell before I went over to Ashley's house and I gave I gave her my chalupa. <laughs> I gave her my chalupa and she gobbled it down. She was so happy. I love Taco Bell so much. Shalir, no, I gave I gave Ellie the dog. Yo, the Did Ellie have cancer before? Yeah, Ellie had cancer a couple years ago and she was operated on and it went away. But I I I think this is like a different a different kind of cancer. Unfortunately. Um, like, the prognosis is not, like, the prognosis is not good. Um, the cancer spread to, like, her whole body, pretty much. So, yeah. It's just kind of like keeping her as comfortable as possible and stuff, you know? Which is why it's okay to give her stuff like Taco Bell and stuff, you know? She's probably going to get to try all sorts of foods that she hasn't been able to eat before, you know? Tips for clear skin. Do you have a skincare routine? What the fuck is in my ears right now?
Bro, what the fuck is in my ears right now? Peak? Is this... Is this actual minion music? Are you a 55-year-old mom? Who's scared of ground beef? Who's not rocking with ground beef? Can I give Vec pointers how to read chat quickly? Yeah, you have to do it at the detriment of your own gameplay. What do you mean? I didn't put this on. Oh. Yeah, when I'm reading chat in the middle of game, my gameplay. It still works. Haven't you been having issues with 3D Punter? Your skincare routine is good as gun rules in America. So not very good at all. I would say, honestly, the best skincare routine is a very simple one. Um, you don't need to be spending all sorts of money on all sorts of fancy products. What the fuck are y'all putting on? Is this Mordecai from regular show? This is literally Mordecai from regular show. Yeah, no, it literally is. You don't eat beef you consider the cow holy in Hinduism? No, I know that. I was fucking with you? Oh yeah, I was fucking with you. I'm not, uh, I am not platinum. As, as you can see, I'm wearing my supersonic legend tag. Sorry for fucking with you. But like, honestly, the best skincare routine is a very simple one. You do not need, you do not need any sorts of expensive products. Literally all you need is a cleanser, a moisturizer, and a sunscreen. Those are the three most essential skincare products. So, you should be washing your face one to two times a day with the cleanser. You should be moisturizing your face one to two times a day as well. And any time that you're going to be going out when the sun is up at all, whether it's, you know, whether the sun's beating or just when it's during the day, basically, you should be putting on sunscreen or there are moisturizers that have sunscreen in them, which I use those. But like... Sunscreen, moisturizer, and and a cleanser are all you need. And me personally, I also use Vaseline. Um, I think Vaseline is, is great for for like extra dry skin or stuff like that. So you don't moisturize, your your skin is probably mad at you. You're afraid of grass. Why? Requested a meme song? I can't wait to hear it. Nothing will beat high school DXD so you gave up. You're actually a fucking gooner. Yeah, but that's for girls. Sunscreen is for freaks. If you're not using sunscreen, you're, you are literally like just aging your skin and giving it damage needlessly. Sunscreen is literally the most, in, one of, if not the most important steps to a skincare routine. Ask any dermatologist. Literally ask any dermatologist how important sunscreen is. Where do you think I got this skincare routine from? Starscream? What the fuck is Starscream? I promise your skin is crying out for... Look, your your skin is what your name is. 
clumping? What is wrong with you? Am I using the sunscreen with alcohol? What? Yo! Thank you very much for the five Australian dollars. Here's some money for your next bottle of sunscreen. Oh, baby. No, don't you worry. So what I do, to keep it simple, I, uh, I get sunscreen or moisturizer that has sunscreen in it. It's like a little two-in-one. I'll make sure I, I use it to buy that. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. From Transformers, he's the bitchy twink of the villain robots. I can't lie. I don't watch Transformers, so... And yeah, also keep in mind that you drink the sunscreen. That's how you're supposed to apply it. I feel like people don't know that. All right, quick, everyone, what's your favorite what's your favorite uh item from Taco Bell? Quick, go, tell me. Buy dehydrated. Love you. Appreciate you. Use sunscreen and moisturizer, please. Bro. How many remixes are there? And I'm going to lose it. <laughs> I am going to lose it. I missed. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just missed. I'm blaming the song on that. I'm blaming the song on that. Or not even song. I'm blaming the fucking cartoon noises in my fucking ear. Unreal. Fucking great. Fucking awesome. I'm so sad and disappointed. A clip for TikTok? I didn't clip that. I should have though, probably. Ow. Okay. Crunch wrap supreme goaded. I'm from Austin. Them crunch wrap, crunch wrap supremes go crazy. Good choice. Honestly, though, I'm gonna be honest. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest. Funny. Um. I made my own homemade crunch wraps, and they were like kind of better. I'm not gonna lie. They were really good when I made them. Cheesy Gordita Crunch. I've only had it one time, but it goes hard. Homemade Big Macs are fire, too. I've made that a couple times. It goes hard as hell. Sorry you're a little weird, but you need to say I'm very cute. No, it's okay. Thank you. I appreciate you for being so nice. Do I want to know your skincare routine? Sure. What is it? I've never had kiwi. I still need to try kiwi. It's, it's one of the fruits that I haven't tried yet. Yeah, you're getting the death penalty, Louie. Blood, sweat, and tears. That's not a very good skincare routine. People should be starting... If, you're, if you don't have a skincare routine, start it now. Your skin will thank you, I promise. I've had banana, hello? Hello? 
And also, I was being serious when I said that. I, I genuinely do think that my homemade crunch wrap supreme was better. It was really good. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the Taco Bell crunch wrap supreme. But like, I just feel like I made it with like obviously like actual like fresh ingredients and stuff and it just kind of slapped even harder. What are you talking about? I literally said, I've literally said for over a year now that mango is one of my favorite fruits. Mango is like literally an S tier fruit for me. I can't cook? Yes, I can. What the fuck? Y'all just be saying shit. Y'all just be- Y'all be doing a lot of this. Bitch, I be cooking. Watermelon's S tier for me too. I have watermelon almost every day. Like- I'm telling you, the way I, I've only made Crunchwrap Supremes one time, but it was awesome. I feel like my teammate just made it worse by doing that. Can't lie. Hurdle, what have you had? Tell me right now. Watermelon, dude, a good crunchy juicy watermelon goes insane what are y'all talking about if y'all think watermelon is mid then y'all had some ass watermelon what the fuck did i just watch this grand champion three rocket league player do You'll come, you'll cook for us? What'll be your meal? Dude, we just actually conceded two goals back to back, huh? Wow. I guess the streak of never winning a game with Hobo Dynasty continues, bro. Jesus Christ. You have deep, terrible English forehead wrinkles and you want to get a chemical peel? I, I got to start exfoliating my face for real. You were born in Edinburgh? Is that England? Yo, thank you for another five. Where is your lighter? You trying to spark up? Thank you for another $5 super chat. What the hell? I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. What are my thoughts on fried chicken, mac and cheese, grape Kool-Aid, and watermelon? Uh, I've never had grape Kool-Aid, but fried chicken's amazing, watermelon's amazing, and mac and cheese is amazing. Um, strawberries are really good too, I agree. I eat watermelon pretending like I'm eating some pussy. Bro, what? I've eaten crunch wraps, lots of tacos, where do you get a crunch? Hurdle, what is wrong with your taste buds? What the hell? You gotta try like a steak quesadilla or something. That shit goes crazy. Do you put do you put the hot sauce on it? The mild Taco Bell sauce is so good. It's like not spicy at all. It's just tasty. Raspberries are good. Not my favorite, but I like them. Papa Schmeeks, what are you doing tonight, bro? Why are you saying some really strange shit tonight? Hello, are you good, bro? I was just, I was hoping you weren't trying to say that shit in like a racist, weird way, but like, you just kind of confirmed it was. 
Scotland. My bad. I'm sorry for saying that Scotland was England. I apologize. I'm on a cannabis break right now, or else I would take a Ripski for you. Cherries are... Actual cherries are really good. The sugar cherries, though, that they put on ice cream, those, like, aren't real cherries, but they're still fire. Yes, Beckage. You're not actually like this? It doesn't matter, bro. I don't want any fucking racist shit in my chat. I don't care what fucking time it is. Be normal. Are those, like, those cherries are not real cherries, right? Aren't they, like, sugar cherries or something? All in the United Kingdom? I mean, yeah, but, like, don't y'all fucking hate England? Ripski? I be taking Ripskis. But, yeah, not... I'm taking a full 90-day cannabis detox, so... Not for a while. I'm a little bit I'm a little bit over one month in, so we're well into it. Can I carry you to champ? How am I gonna carry you to champ if I'm diamond too? Yeah, those like anyway, those candied cherries are so good. They're so good, but like they're not like no, real cherries are like, you know, like the actual fruit cherry is really good. Bro, when I say not real, like, yeah, they're real, but like, they're, they're literally like pickled. Aren't they literally like sugared candied cherries? Like, you know what I mean when I say real cherry. If you get one of those cherries and then one at the fucking grocery store, uh, I think you'll notice quite a big of a difference. I see him GC. Wait, really? Blackberry? What? Blackberries are good. What are you talking about? Are pickles no longer cucumbers? I dare you to walk up to someone, point at pickles, and say, Hey, can you give me those cucumbers, please? Ninety day tea break, that first bolski back will send you to the moon. Oh, trust me, I know. I'm ready for it. I'm excited for it. Anime suggestions? Uh if you do exclamation point anime, it'll bring up my anime list for you and you can see everything I've watched. And you can ask me about something. Your medication, your shit is medical? Yeah. For me, cannabis is not medical. So, you know, I just, I just do it because I enjoy it and shit. I do it because I enjoy it. So I also like to try to be like, you know, healthier with it. And from the information that I gathered, it takes 90 days for, for like, THC and cannabis to, like, leave your body. So I said, you know what? 90 days? I can do that. So here we are. Will I be playing twos? Yes. After this game, I'll probably be... I'll just queue both. I'll probably mainly get twos games, but I'll be playing ones. Hell fucking no. You're in your villain arc. That's fine, cool, whatever. Just don't be racist, please.
I don't find any sort of like racist shit funny at all. Oranges and bananas over grapes? Ah, uh, bro, I don't know. Are we talking those like crispy, crunchy, tasty like green grapes? Because that shit goes crazy. But like on the other hand, I, do, I don't really like bananas that much. Bananas are so overrated. Can we just say that? Is that a hot take? Bananas are overrated as fuck. Don't get me wrong, like, they're not bad. But bananas are, like, B tier at most. They're not bad. Like, I like I like banana. You know, they're pretty good. But it's just, like, I don't know. It's just mid. They're mid and they're, they're, just, they're fine. There's just so many better fruits than banana. Yeah, we're not talking about smoothies, though, y'all. We're not talking smoothies. Hi, Anna. Like... I don't even know. Like, w Surely, watermelon's better than banana. Strawberries. Grapes. Uh... Mango, like, there's so many better fruits. If you think bananas are S tier, then you gotta try more fruits. No one glazes bananas? Look at, look at Gim over here. Look at fucking Jim. They're, dude, bananas are, f like, fine. They're, like, B tier. But I... I only like bananas when they're, like, green. Not fully green, but, like, they gotta be at least half be green. If it's not half green, I don't like it. I don't be eating yellow bananas. That shit is nasty as fuck. Yellow bananas are so gross. I'm gonna keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, if the banana is not, like, at least half green, I'm not eating it. Who the fuck likes those yellow, slimy, soft bananas? What is wrong with you? That shit belongs in, like, banana bread and nothing else. Bro. Mangoes and dragon fruit? Plantains. I've never had a plantain. Gags? What the hell is a mango steen? Steins Gate is so good. Bro. Huh. I literally fucking... I don't hate yellow bananas. I literally... I only eat yellow bananas if there's nothing fucking else. I'm like, okay, well, there's no other fucking fruit. I guess I'll eat this shitty ass fucking yellow banana. Let's see if Jack plays YT is uh, a little white kid. Any face cam footage? No face cam footage, unfortunately. What's up, Porkster? What's up, Lucas? How are you? Yeah. Having some tough some tough teammates is okay. Louis, you're S tier. Hi Garbanzo. Pineapples and grapes are great. Hey, don't forget to like the live stream and subscribe and all that stuff. Yo, Guwenti. Thanks for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate that. Do I only play Rocket League? No. But I mainly play Rocket League. Fruit tier list? 
Sub Lucas, how are you? Okay, let me. No fruit tier list, your takes are shit. Bro, how does. How do y'all like. Bro, how do y'all like yellow smushy bananas? What is wrong with you? Okay, bye, Papa Schmeegs. Like, when when a banana is, like, half green, it, ha it has, like, such a better texture, and it tastes so much better. Bananas literally taste so much better when they have green in them, when they're, like, green. Straight up. If a banana is all yellow and has like black spots on it and shit, that shit is better off being banana bread, not eaten. Banana is B tier. Why are y'all fucking glazing bananas so hard of all fruits? That's crazy chat game, by the way. Glazing bananas is wild. Oh, my bad. You're right. Oops. Hi, Mats. How are you? Like, bro, I, again, I don't dislike bananas. They're just so mid. Thank you, Shumzo. I'm glad it, I'm glad I have at least one person on my side. Yellow bananas, like, actually taste gross. Sorry. And when they're like yellow and have like spots on them, that shit's nasty. That shit's actually putrid. I actually have to fight it down when it's like that. I've had plenty of good bananas. Yeah, they're just half green. Ripe and sour? That's the fucking disgusting. Ugh. Ripe and sour. Holy fuck, that's nasty. Bro, you acting you're acting like I haven't tried yellow banana. I've had e banana on every spectrum of ripeness. And when they're when they're like half green, they're better. Cry about it. Underrated fruit pick. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Underrated. Tomato is not a vegetable. You shut your uneducated ass up right now. I don't think tomatoes are S tier though. They're good though. Yucky. Bananas like that are so gross. Where is my lighter? Bro, what do you mean? Y'all are literally basing my opinion of fruit just on bananas. This is crazy. Thank you, Shumzo. Thank you.
Bro, I don't hold on. Let me let me show you. Let me give you a visual representation for the bananas that I like. Hold on. I got you. I got you. I got you. Hold on. Semi green banana. Oh, this is perfect. This is really perfect. I got you. Ready? This. This is peak banana right here. This or this or like in between this. Peak banana. Cry about it. This or like in between. Peak banana. Bro, how, how is this green? This is peak right here. If you're eating bananas like this, this is actually dog shit. Dog shit. Two to four is acceptable. I don't think I would eat a banana like this. It has to be a little more yellow than this. It has to be like this or like in between this. Hold on. Oh, yeah, this is it. Like these. Oh, baby. This is a peak banana right here. Oh my goodness. That's a peak looking banana. Oh my God. This one too. Oh my God. Peak banana. Y'all are missing out, bro. Y'all are missing out. Let's see what else. Um, I feel like that was a really good representation. These right here. Peak bananas. Granny Smith is the best apple. You are telling me that I have a bad palate when it comes to fruit. And you're saying Granny Smith apples are the best apples? Shut the fuck up. You are, you're fucking with me. Hi, Blake. You probably got gifted. You like rotten bananas? What is wrong with you? All apples are ass? You're telling me I have a bad palate? And you're saying apples are ass? Honey crisp apples are elite. What are you talking about? What is wrong with y'all? Oh my god, bro. You know, maybe we should do a fucking fruit tier list. Should we do a fruit tier list? Let's do a fruit tier list. Fuck it. Now I'm mad. Let's fucking do it. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. 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 Uh, YouTube, can you see this fine? Plums are good. I like plums. It's dead center? All right, word. Okay. Can't wait for Paps to go 9 for 28. Bro, what are you talking about?
Okay, ready? First. Let's let's pick like a nice base for like an S tier. Where is Avocado is a fruit, really? I guess that makes sense actually. Where's mango? Am I blind? Is that a mango? I've never seen a mango with the little leaf on it. Bro, what do you mean? Whenever I get mangoes in the store, they don't have, like, the stem on it. I would put avocados in S tier. I love avocados, and I love guacamole. You know what? Avocado, S tier. Uh, maybe A. Because avocados on their own aren't the best. They're still good. Mmm... No, I like them enough. They're going S. Avocados are so good. What do you mean three to the right, four down? What is... Watermelon. See, the problem with watermelon is it needs to have like a like watermelon can be bad if it's not like crunchy and like juicy. That's the problem. Like it can go from being like delicious to like, I don't really want this. I think A tier is pretty good. I can't lie. Bro, avocado is so good. Watermelon. Okay, the thing is, okay, watermelon at its peak is S tier. Do I ra am I rating these fruits at their peak? Are we rating at its peak? All right, if we're doing peak only, then I it does deserve S tier. Interesting splash. That's fair. That's fair. Mango with tahini is peak. I'm not, I don't think I've ever had tahini before. Cherries. Cherries are pretty good. I can't lie. It's pretty annoying. They did like always spit out the pits though. I'll put cherries in B. Uh, I mean, maybe A. B for now. Bananas. Bananas are such a mid fruit, bro. C. I'm putting bananas in C. Cry about it. Hi, Hannah, by the way. Hi, Majid. Um, let's see. Is a peach? I love peaches. It's one of my favorite fruits. S. You're so mad. Y'all fucking ride bananas like crazy, bro. Get over it. Oh my god. I don't really like coconut. I can't lie. I'm giving it C as well. Peaches. Yeah, peaches are so good. Um... Strawberries, easy A tier.
Easy A tier. Peaches are mid. Crazy take. Apples. I think a, a good apple belongs. Mm. I'll put a B for now. I think a good apple is, is fine in B or A. Pineapple. I like pineapple, but I just don't. I'm going to put pineapple in B too. I like it, but it's just too much for me sometimes. I don't know. the fuck is Rambutan? I've never even heard of that. Coconut A tier? I don't like coconut. I'm sorry. I don't really rock with coconuts. They're fine. I don't... I just don't like the coconut flavor that much. Five... Five row down second. This? This thing looks like some shit in like the prehistoric times, bro. What the fuck is this? I've never had that. Blueberry? Blueberries are really good. I would give blueberry A tier as well. Blueberries are really good. I rock with them. I've never had... Oh, This is dragon fruit, right? I've never had dragon fruit. I've never had kiwi. Yeah, bad blueberries. Hey, keep in mind, actually, oh God, if we're rating at peak, I guess I got to give bananas B tier, right? At peak? I think pineapple goes up to A and banana goes up to B at peak. I've never had a rock melon. What is it? Thank you very much for the $2 super chat. I appreciate your two Australian dollar. I've never had a rock melon. What the fuck's a rock melon? What is rim? What does it take? What does this little fucking thing taste like? It looks like if I had this, I would just, I, I would be biting into a fucking porcupine. Pomegranate A tier? I don't know about that. Pomegranate's good, but A tier? I feel like pomegranate's probably pretty solid B tier, no? Grapes? Good grapes got to be A tier, surely, right? Orange? Fuck, I think, like, I think clementines are better than oranges. Are there clementines here, too? Or is it just oranges? I think I just see oranges. Bottom right. Are there clementines? Am I missing it? I think oranges are B, but clementines are A. I like clementines more than oranges. Rock melon slaps harder than the wooden spoon. I know about the wooden spoon. Thank you for the three dollar super chat again. I appreciate it. You can do you don't gotta do super chats. I appreciate it, but you can just type. You're chilling, bro. Hey, peace out, Blake. Appreciate you. Love you. Pomegranate's B. Good job on grapes. Yeah, grapes are really good. How is coconut C? Bro, I don't like the coconut flavor. This is not a good flavor. This tastes weird. Clementine is like a mini orange, basically. It's like sweeter in my... Like, Clementine is like a sweeter orange, I th in my opinion. Nectarines are fire. I can't lie. I agree. I think I probably like nectarines more than peaches sometimes.
It's a pear. Pears are all right. I don't like pears as much as apples. Pear clears apples? No way, bro. Pears are not as good as apples. Lemon and lime is hard. But dude, there's like, who's eating lemon and lime raw? Where even is lemon? Oh, green grapes? Wait, actually, I'm adjusting grapes. Actually, no, I think they're both really good if they're nice and crunchy. Bro, I do not know a lot of these fruits. Is it blackberry? I think blackberries are really good. I put them at B. Bro, what do you mean? You can eat avocado raw. Avocado's good. Avocado's good as shit. I'd probably put it more like this. I think avocado is like bottom of S if I'm actually reading it. Papaya. I've never had a papaya before. Respect orange. Hey, oranges are good. I just like clementines more. You can see my setup in the mirror. Hell yeah. Coconut water is all right. The fruity on the side, kind of like wet slushy. Pears are foul. Well, they're not that bad. You're obsessed with limes raw? Really? What? I'm, is this lime? Where's lemon? Am I blind? Is that even lime? I've never had a papaya before. What the fuck is this thing? What the fuck is that? Is this a bell pepper? <laughs> I've never had kiwi, no. This? Oh. Oh, 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 I see, I see. Like, how am I supposed to rate this? Because, like, you don't just be eating limes or lemons. You use it to, like, flavor stuff or in, like, a sauce or something. How do I rate these? Okay, there is no fucking way you are telling me you eat these fucking raw. You eat lemon and lime raw. Bro, what the fuck? Are you serious? That's crazy. Is this a bell pepper? I mean, it's fine. Bell pepper is like a base. <laughs> Bro, what do you mean? I literally am American. Like, it's a cashew nut? Wait, what? Are you serious? The fuck's like... You fucking with me? Raw onions taste elite? No way. Raw onions are, like, fine. The fuck's a cashew fruit? The fuck is a cashew fruit? I don't even know what a papaya looks like. Bro, I don't know what so many of these fruits are. What the fuck is this? Are these supposed to be cherries too? What the fuck is this?
I've had 10 fruits in my life, but I don't know what some of these are. Is this grapefruit? Is it, wait, is this pomegranate? Oh, it's so fucking small. Is this pomegranate? I swear I saw a grapefruit. Bro, the mangoes I've eaten look like this. But apparently this is a mango. A pine berry? Is this grapefruit? It's so small. Is that the seeds in the pomegranate or is that a fucking grapefruit? Is this a pomegranate? I this this is a cashew fruit apparently. I don't know what the fuck that is. I thought it was a bell pepper. Pomegranate's okay. I don't know. I think pomegranate's C for me. Is so this is a grapefruit. D. Papayas in row three. This is a nectarine. Is that nectarine? It looks like a nectarine. I've never had this. Um, the fuck is... Bro, I don't know so many of these fruits. It's a plum. Plums are pretty good. Plums are definitely not that high, though. Plums are probably like B. Like a good plum's pretty good. Not gonna lie, I don't recognize half of these. Bro, my chat is being so elitist about fruit. Does bell pepper like not have seeds? Is it not considered a fruit? No, bell pepper is a fruit. How the fuck are you? How the fuck are y'all gonna call me stupid and be belittling me when I'm literally right? A bell pepper literally is fruit. The fuck? You motherfuckers are can't even belittle me right. Oh, hey, oranges are good, but clementines are better, Kevin. You're turning 20 in two days? Oh, my God, so old. I've never had a star fruit. Yes, it is. It literally is a fruit. Tomato is a fruit, too. It's a fucking jalapeno pepper. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Tomatoes are not a fruit. Yes, they are. They literally are. You've listed all the best American fruit. Tomato is a legume. No, it's not. That's a cocoa pod. Google's lying search on X. The tomato that has seeds inside of it. Wait, do you actually not know that tomatoes are a fruit? Bro, nobody... Dude, there's no way anybody's favorite would be tomato. It's good, but it's not that good. I think bell pep bell pepper is just like a good base. I like bell pepper.
I don't care if it says they're fruit. To me, they aren't. Bro, <laughs> what kind of fucking take is that? They literally are. Uh, what is this supposed to be? Are these also cherries? What is this? Is ketchup juice? No, ketchup is like not just tomato. No. I don't think tomatoes, bro, why are you trying to like go against reality? Tomatoes are a fruit. Bell peppers are a fruit. Cucumbers are a fruit. Get over it. Your family's from Mexico. So you're highly critical right now. Why? Pineapple is yes tier. Pineapples are great. Don't get me wrong. I think I think it's fine in A though. Pineapple can just be a lot sometimes. Bro, I'm so confused. Are we just like because you don't think they're a fruit, then they're not? I don't understand. Hello? Like, I, I'm not, like, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. So true, Splash. If it has seeds like that, it's a fruit. I, I don't know what to fucking tell you. Is this supposed to be a Granny Smith? If it is, then... I don't know, I guess bottom of B tier. I'd never had this. Never had this. What the fuck? Is, I've never had that. I think I've never had the rest of these. Is cantaloupe here? I would put cantaloupe in C tier. This is this, this is rock melon, right? I've never had that. Yeah, I know, Kevin. That's what I'm saying. Isn't that stick looking one vanilla? It might be. Is that ginger? I feel like some of these things aren't like fruits that you eat on their own, right? That's a mandarin you're forgetting? Wait, where? This? I would probably put this above regular orange, right? Nectarines are amazing. Yeah, nectarines up here. That's a nectarine, right? Rock melon hits hard. I wish I've tried it. Where's cantaloupe? Is there not cantaloupe here? Am I tripping? Cantaloupe is... The C tier for me. Like, what the fuck is this, bro? And that. It's right there. Am I blind? What the fuck? What's 4-4? Four, four? This? No idea. Okay, you're fucking with me. Three, four? I don't know. It has a pit in it, though.
Bro, I don't know. Okay, listen. Why is this such a controversial topic? Tomatoes are literally a fruit. Like, I understand that maybe you were brought up to think that tomatoes aren't a fruit because you were told wrong or something, but they are a fruit. Um, bell peppers are a fruit. Uh, cucumbers are a fruit. Like, I understand that maybe you thought differently in your head because you were brought up incorrect. Like, you were brought up to believe something incorrect, but... They are. You thought, what was a nectarine? This? I thought, what the fuck is this then? Colin Cucumber of Fruit? Bro, he literally. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a fruit! What do you want from me? Like, what the fuck? You think I'm just fucking making this shit up? Like, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Bro, I, I'm, the, I'm not... Fruits can be used as vegetables? What the fuck do you mean can be used as vegetables? They're just fucking fruits, and they're in vegetables. Like, I understand that a lot of people were led to believe that tomatoes are a vegetable or something, whatever, but they're just not. I don't have to fucking tell you. Bro, oh my god. <laughs> hey, it's me, Goku! <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. Thanks for the follow on Twitch. Very true. I, how do I say your name, by the way? Can you help me pronounce it? Yeah, I know, Kevin. I'm brainwashed by Google Corporation. Fruits is vegetables. If the fruit is in a soup, then it's vegetables on God. What? Huh? Ah, dit, Aditya? I'm, dude, I'm so bad at pronouncing shit. Aditya? My mother put apple slices in my salad, but I knew they weren't vegetables. True. That's the best white pronunciation of your name. Aditya. Okay. I'll do my best. Sorry. I am a cracker. Tomatoes go on a lot more things than salad. Yeah, I guess what you put it on determines if it's a fruit or not. Is corn a fruit? Damn. Corn's a fruit. That's kind of cool.
It's both a fruit and a grain, botanically speaking. <sighs> okay, I, I'm done with that. Hey, well, W at DTA, that's awesome. Congratulations. Tomato, corn, cucumber, fruit salad. Shrimp is bugs. Oh, wait, fuck. We're back to Rocket League. Lobsters are like the spiders of the sea, right? Apparently. Ain't that what people be saying? Shrimp, shrimp. <laughs> Such a funny way to put it. Shrimps is indeed bugs. We actually call lobster bugs in Maine. No, I think lobsters are literally considered like spiders of the sea. They look nothing like a spider. They're basically related to spiders. You're smart as shit, Aditya. Aren't green beans like a legume? Like actually? Best Cheez-It flavor? I don't really eat Cheez-It, so I can't say. I always like the cheddar, the cheddar ones, though. Pistol shrimps are cool. God damn. You're smart as shit. I didn't know that. Oh, John Pork's here? Oh my god. Hi, John Pork. I didn't even see you're here. No, if they're a, if they're a fruit, then I. What do you mean? Yeah, cool. I don't care. If they're a fruit, then they're a fruit. Why the fuck would I argue? <laughs> like, how how am I gonna sit here and argue with like scientific fact? <laughs> Is that like what you think I'm gonna do? If they're if they're scientifically a fruit, then there's then they're a fucking fruit. I don't know. Now, am I supposed to sit here and rage? I thought eggplants were a vegetable my whole life. No, oh, fuck. I thought they were a vegetable, so no, they can't be fruit. Is that is that what I'm supposed to do? I feel like the last thirty seconds. That, wait, what do you mean? Yeah, it's hard to read every single fucking message. Why do you hate grass so much? Like, I, I guess you can believe what you want if it, like, if it really it makes you mad to, like, learn new things, but you're just, like, objectively wrong. That's fine, I guess, if you're cool with that.
Ignorance is fish. Chaotic isn't pronounced with a CH. I mean, yeah, you don't say chaotic. Oops. I forgot the ball. What's Rage Bay? I'm making stuff up in my mind? Bro. Okay. I like Dragon Ball Z. It's my favorite anime. Full Metal Brother, I'm actually, uh, I've never watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I am, I'm going to be starting it really soon. Well, I already started it, but I'm catching up to Demon Slayer right now. And then I'm going to watch Full Metal, but I got to finish Demon Slayer first. I'm starting, I'm starting it after I finish my Demon Slayer uh, catch up. I'm on the Swordsmith Village arc right now in Demon Slayer. What's up, Nunu? Don't worry, Full Metal is next. Okay, Brights, you can think it's a vegetable, my friends. We're just we're just calling fruits vegetables now. Okay. That's what we're rocking with. Yes. I think Dragon Ball Kai is the best way to experience uh, DBZ. It like helps with the pacing and gets rid of so much filler. I recommend it. The from from OG Dragon Ball from the demon or sorry the Piccolo Jr. arc all the way to the Cell Saga is like all S tier peak anime. So good. Bro, I don't know like dude, it's like literally not even an argument. I don't know what to fucking tell you. Like, if you don't want to accept... Like, this is so stupid. This is such a stupid fucking argument. Like, I, I don't know what the fuck else to say. Smart Schmeegs goes so hard. Good night, Splash. Love you. Appreciate you.
I have seen Vinland Saga. I'm caught up to it as well. Do I know who you you are? New new. Uh, I'm I don't recognize the name no. Thanks for lurking, Shamzo. Oh, chicken. Oh, hi. Don't forget your clicks, y'all. Thank you, Fugu, for reminding me. Okay, thank you, Bridge. End of the story. I'm not playing too far ahead, but I'm going to finish my Demon Slayer catching up, and then I'm going to watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, but I don't know what I'm watching next. Bananas are not the best fruit. Okay. So there we go. So why was there an argument in the first place? Why was there a disagreement in the first place then? I can't lie. There, There is some dialogue from like the OG Dragon Ball Z anime that does kind of like sound better but like kai is more manga accurate so i always prefer i always i will always like you know prefer to consume the the manga accurate like stuff why are you saying crashing out on Bumping on an accident, okay. You're nerding out? It's okay. We, I'm a nerd too. Mangoes will always be your fave? Yeah, mango is S, S tier for me. There's some Junji Ito like anime that I saw was on Netflix. Is that worth watching? Because I have heard that Junji Ito has good like horror stuff, right? And I'm honestly a pretty big fan of horror. I watch, I've watched quite a bit of horror movies and consumed quite a bit of horror content in my life. I'm getting some very mixed Junji Ito. Yeah, the problem with the Bruce Falconer score is like, it's like stolen. Mango juice and vodka. I don't think I've ever had mango juice actually. Mango juice is probably gas though. I mean, I like mangoes. So I mean, I'm just not really the biggest fan of alcohol. I, per I prefer cannabis to alcohol by a lot. Not really. Uh, I don't really drink alcohol anymore. Mango juice is probably so good. I think I tried like a pineapple mango smoothie one time and that was pretty fucking, pretty fucking sick. Is this motherfucker serious?
What a fucking baby. Shut up. We're winning two to one in these quick chat spamming. Shut up. Jesus Christ, bro. What is wrong with the people at this fucking rank? Hi, Kaleido. Would be housed from, I think, the 80s. I, I haven't seen that. Like, bro, crashing out in game chat when we're winning is crazy mentals. Oh, by the way, so I literally just started the Swordsmith Village arc today. Um, I, I literally just watched episode one. I, and it was like fucking 40 minutes. Muzan Kibutsuchi. Kind of crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. Mango, mango juice to change your life? I gotta try that shit. My baby. Bless you, thanks. Save yourself and watch other peak shows from Demon Slayer? Bro, I only have like... I only have like 18 episodes to catch up on. Why would I not just watch it? Hello? It's like... It's like barely any episodes. But yeah. To bring the conversation back to what I was talking about before. I just, I very much prefer cannabis to alcohol. It's just like so much better in like every way. You know, you get like no hangovers. It's not like literally poison for your body. Uh... I don't know. I feel like alcohol just always makes me feel so much fucking worse. I've seen JJK. I gotta catch up on it though. I haven't watched season two. Have you heard the song Lean On Me by Major Laser? Yeah, of course. Sounds good, new new. My favorite DBZ movie. Dude, I can't lie. When I was a kid, I watched the DBZ Broly movie like 25 times. I thought that shit was sick as hell. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't rock with any sort of tobacco or nicotine shit. I I've, I've never I've never touched tobacco or nicotine in my life. Not for me. What are the effects of cannabis on me? You get so paranoid. Unfortunately, I do know that that's like a thing for, for people. It's really sad that not everyone can enjoy cannabis in like the, you know, the, the, the best way, you know, the way it's like enjoyable. Unfortunately, I've heard, you know, plenty of stories of people who get, like, paranoid and anxious when they smoke weed, and that sucks. For me, when I, when I enjoy cannabis, I just feel good. I feel like, I feel my body feels loose. My brain, my head feels, like, nice and light. I just feel like everything is, like, more entertaining uh, I don't know. Sometimes it can make me feel sleepy. It's awesome, though. I love it.
I fortunately don't get the anxiety or the paranoia. How do I consume cannabis? Um, depends. You know, I, I've done edibles. I have smoked carts or vaped carts. Um, you know, I've had joints. I've smoked from... My teammate just bumped me, took the boost, bumped me, and then didn't make the save. Is weed legal in mass? Yes, it's uh, been legal for a little bit now. Sounds good. I mean, like, I think I think cannabis is for sure worth trying. But like, you know, if if it's not for you, it's not for you. You know, not everyone's gonna. It's not gonna have the same effects for everyone, unfortunately. But if you're gonna give it another shot, I would definitely recommend do it in a safe space, a place where you're comfortable. Oh my God, do it in a place where you're comfortable. Um, and just start slow, you know, start slow and don't, you know, don't overdo it. Give your body time to, to adjust and, uh, yeah, just have fun. Enjoy yourself. I think a big problem with cannabis for people that have tried it and had bad experiences is sometimes they like overdo it or do too much or just in general, they're not in like a comfortable spot. There's like plenty of reasons why it could be a bad experience for you. But, um, yeah, I've pretty much consumed cannabis in every way besides, like, tinctures. Tinctures when, like, the drops, right? I haven't, I haven't consumed it via tinctures or, like, actual dabs. But I think going forward for me, like, when, once my cannabis break is over, I plan on mainly consuming cannabis via rosin or edibles. You think Jujitsu Kaisen's only a six? What the hell? If ju wait, hold on. If Jujitsu Kaisen's a six for you, then what's like a seven or eight? I'm curious. Just be safe, Splits. Be be safe and be comfortable and just take it slow. That, that'll that give you your best chance to have a good experience. Mobile Suit Gundam. I want to watch Neon Genesis Evangelion. Have you seen that before? Effects of weed makes friends laugh and you have energy. Effects of alcohol, abusive, angry, bad time, and hangovers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you live in a state where it's not legal, I, I'm lucky I live in a recreational state because I can just go to a dispensary and get like safe tested cannabis and never have to worry about that shit, which is nice. Get, having to get like black market carts or any shit like that would stress me the fuck out. And I definitely don't think I would consume cannabis if I'm being honest. I, all I literally have to do is drive like 10, 15 minutes to my nearest dispensary and grab whatever the fuck I want. Cannabis is just another name for, for weed. <laughs> I know, Callus. Wait, I didn't. I didn't get to see what you rated a seven or eight. Fuck, it's hard to read. Two chat. Okay. Teammate peak. Is 
Meeting up with a random drug dealer in a dark parking lot? Yeah, no thanks. I'm good. I don't think JJK is a 9. I think JJK is like a solid, like... I think JJK is for sure worthy of any rating between 7 and 8. Like, I wouldn't be mad if someone rated JJK. Wow, my teammate is actually fucking throwing. Jesus Christ. Actually fucking throwing hard. Jesus. What's up, Cheeky Dubsky? AOT's a 10? Hell fucking no. Attack on Titan ending is not good enough to be a 10. Yeah, I think 8's fair. I think AOT's like an 8. Yeah, cannabis has a lot of different names, like weed, green. Dank, za. I don't understand writing, you dimwit. Bro, I'm not going to say spoilers, but the ending of Attack on Titan is, like, incredibly, like, fashy. That's a pretty bad message for an ending. Cowboy Bebop is so good. I think I I think I gave Cowboy Bebop like an 8-7 or something. I really enjoyed it. Alright, I just need my teammate to stop tossing. Attack on Titan is good. I think 8 is a very fair rating for Attack on Titan. I think Attack on Titan is really good. I think season three, part two or whatever, the Shiganshana arc, I think that's like a nine. That was really good. That's like peak attack. I think, I think peak attack on Titan is season three, part two. Sailor Moon? I've never seen Sailor Moon. Is it worth watching? I know it's like an older anime, but is it actually worth watching? Is Sailor Moon like one of those old animes that has, has like 40 bajillion episodes? Like Pokemon and like Naruto and, you know, Bleach and all those other animes that just have super long episodes, or super long, or super uh, high amounts of eps. Obviously, if I watch something like, if I, whenever I watch animes like that, I obviously o always skip filler. I'm not going to subject subject myself to filler. Top 3 animes all time. Dragon Ball, number one. Freerin, number two. Steins Gate, number three. Best top three of all time. Prove me wrong.
Bro, Free Run is like the number one rated anime on Analyst and my anime list. So good. Wait, what do you mean? I'm saying you're saying it's kind of insane, but clearly it's not. Like a lot of other people think it's like one of the best animes that they've ever seen. Clearly. No, Freerun's been out for like a year, hasn't it? I have to watch filler. I don't want to watch filler, Kevin. One Piece and Sailor Moon and Dragon Ball Z. Nah, dude. Wait, what anime have you watched? Bro, where's my lighter? What's up, Monty Dog? Steinsgate? Dude, Steinsgate, Kevin. Steinsgate is so fucking good. Freerun kind of mid? No way. Freerun's so fucking good. I love Freerun. Vinland Saga is really good too. Don't get me wrong. I really enjoyed Vinland Saga. I think I gave like season one eight and a half. And I think I gave like season two like 8.6 or 8.7 or something. I, re I really enjoyed Vinland Saga. You realize when I say top three, I'm talking about like my list, right? Like it's obviously not an objective thing. It's my list. I mean, I, th I really enjoyed season one Vinland Saga, though. I see a lot of people say that. But, like, I I watched them back to back. And, yeah, I think I enjoyed season two a little bit more. But I also really enjoyed season one. This person has trolled, like, literally two shot opportunities for me now. Unlucky. I'll have to give Steins Gate a try. It's so good. And it's not that long. Season one, Vinland was amazing. Thank you. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. Uh, Callus in, in Twitch chat watched that and they loved it too, I think. Dr. Stone, I have not watched yet, but it is on my to watch list. Brooklynad. Me, personally, I couldn't even get through episode one of High School DxD. That shit is not for me. When people say they want to see Thorfinn fight... I mean... Even Tors fought when he had to. Bro literally just passed them the ball and then complained. That's crazy. I love that. This motherfucker is like act. This motherfucker actually like has trolled like multiple goal scoring opportunities for us. Of course he's, of course he's also being delusional in game chat, quick chatting. Yeah, I definitely have I definitely have Doctor Stone on my on my two watch list for sure for sure. What's up, Voiki? How are you? I've heard Berserk the Berserk manga. I've heard is way better than the anime. 
I know a lot of people love the Berserk manga. A lot of people say it's like the their the, their favorite manga or like the best manga. I haven't consumed any Berserk manga or anime, so I can't really comment. Speaking of good manga, I need to watch Chainsaw Man. I haven't seen... I haven't watched the Chainsaw Man anime yet. I've been meaning to for a while. Like, I don't think I even have it on my to-watch list. I gotta put it on there. Wasn't Chainsaw Man like the number one rated manga at one point? Or am I making that up? I don't even know if I've ever properly watched an isekai, to be honest. That's so sad that wasn't a goal. Damn, I wanted to pinch that. Just couldn't time with him, right? Fire Force and Sword Art slap. I haven't seen either of those. You're about to try cannabis again right now. Please take it slow and be safe. I just ask you to enjoy and be safe. Okay, I'm curious. I know I've, a couple people in chat have already told me how they feel about Demon Slayer, its most recent seasons, and how they don't really like them that much. Anyone who hasn't told me their opinions on the recent Demon Slayer seasons, remember, no spoilers, please. But, damn, I fucked up. No spoilers, please, but anyone else have thoughts on the recent Demon Slayer seasons? It's ass trash. Oh man, I've been I've been you know I think Demon Slayer is like pretty solid. I wonder if I'm not gonna enjoy it. Welcome back, Louis. Ass Demon Slayer is not good. I think Demon Slayer is for sure enjoyable. I think calling it not good is, is kind of extreme, no? I think, I think Demon Slayer is definitely worth watching. Has some good animation. Has some good fights. Four out of 10 is crazy. Your anime rating scale is is crazy. I 
I knew my teammate was again. The way my flip there, I couldn't do anything about it. I mean, yeah, you don't watch Demon Slayer for like any sort of like crazy character development or a plot. You watch Demon Slayer because it's pretty to look at and has some well choreographed fights. I think I think seven is totally fair. I think Demon Slayer is at least worthy of a seven. Bro. Vegeta is literally the OG villain to like hero story. There's character development and shit in Dragon Ball. What the fuck are you talking about? Dragon Ball Clear 3 is crazy. What's up, GB? It's that cannabis split. That cannabis... Wait, what? Did my teammate just, like, miss the beast? Yeah, I think that's... I think that's very fair, Kevin. I think that's a fair rating. Wait, Lucas, are you trolling? Did you watch Dragon Ball? I think it's... I think it's my playlist. I have Rio Vaz radio on right now. Did you even watch Dragon Ball? Vegeta's just mean that he's not? Hello? <laughs> I don't think we watched the same, sh the same anime. Yu-Gi-Oh! over Dragon Ball? I had never actually watched Yu-Gi-Oh! all the way through, so... Bro. That's a really normal first question to ask, George. That team has that, right? I was ready to forfeit this horn. I don't think Lucas is watching the same shows that we're watching, I can't lie. I knew I shouldn't have passed it, bro. That shit happens so often. My teammates is never ready. It's fine. Shocker that that George person's a fucking freak. <sighs> Yu Gi Oh is incredible. My girlfriend loves Yu Gi Oh.
I know this song. What, what anime is it from? Ergo Proxy? No, I've never seen it before. Ergo Proxy is buns. The Egyptian god artist fucking peak. I gotta watch Yu-Gi-Oh. Shalee said she wants me to watch it with her. There go, Proxy goes hard. Some very mixed opinions. Hey, low tier duster. Madana and my safe travels are moving away. Hey, safe travels. Safe travels, Dan and moi. That's their name. Log's name is just me. The Jujutsu Kaisen like uh, end credits are pretty pretty gas. Winning tonight? Yeah, we're actually doing pretty good tonight. I, I'm definitely positive tonight. I don't know. I don't know how positive, but we've been winning most of our games. I feel like I have. We have. I have a different rating scale. Like for me, five out of ten is average, and the rest is rated off of that. What's up, Benny? For me, 5 out of 10 is 0 out of 10. I hate that rating system so much. At the end of the day, it's personal preference. That's true. 5 to 7 equals average. To me, 7 means, like, pretty good. I'll never understand the six to seven average scale that some of y'all in chat use, but. The way I work with numbers, I work with like literal averages. Seven to me would be like this. This anime is pretty good. I enjoyed it for sure. Fluorite Eye Song, underrated. What anime, Kevin? All right, can we not fucking throw this, please, bro? Like, to me, I rated, like, Darling and the Franks a 5. I felt like that was, like, perfectly average, and I'll never watch it again. <sighs> oh, like, literally, that's the anime, Kevin? 
up, Shyly? How are you? Oh my god, Ginger, how are you? Hello. Long time no see. Like, I, I gave Darling and the Franks a, a 5. I thought that was a pretty fair rating. I didn't really enjoy it very much. Yeah, right. Takas, he never changes, Louie. Have I seen Blue Lock? Yeah, I, I saw Blue Lock. I enjoyed it for what it was. Bro, please. Please, I'm begging you to fucking stop tossing. I'm begging this dude. Please, 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 please. Just need to hang on to the lead. That's all we gotta do. That should be GG. Nice save. Never mind. Never mind, never mind. Uh-oh. That was not great. Nice. Good recovery. And the boost grab. Okay. Nice. We have a similar rating system? All right, good. My rating system's the best. No bias, of course. My Hero Academia is Bonds? No, it's not, bro. My Hero Academia is like a seven. My Hero Academia is easily like a seven. What's up, John? How are you? Oh my god, Benny. Look at that. Stream streak. You should watch some anime, Louie. Maybe it'll help with your music. It's a, it is a seven. Good job. You agree? Like, I think My Hero Academia is like a pretty good starter anime for a lot of people. It's pretty easy to consume. Not too long. Pretty easy to consume. I okay. That's not true, Louie. That's just you're I feel like you're just making some animes do that, yeah, of course. I don't think I would recommend AOT for someone's first anime. Ooh, that was kind of nice. Pretty good control. <laughs> what a save. What? Why? That's some very interesting anime takes, Lucas. Wait, why is AOT one of the best starter animes? I don't think Vinland's mid. I think Kalos is fucking with you. Do you actually think Vinland's mid? Oh, I guess that's true. I mean... Attack on Titan obviously is an anime that has more mature themes for sure. I don't think AOT is like a horrible starter anime. I would probably just recommend something more like Jujutsu Kaisen or something.
Or like Hunter Hunter, I think is really good too. Wait, you didn't even watch season two? Second season of One Punch Man was pretty good. I, One Punch Man is like top five anime for me. I love One Punch Man. Hey, no, it's okay. No worries. I appreciate you lurking, bro. Where's my lighter? I think season two is like generally considered by like everyone to be better than season one. How did you not enjoy? I really enjoyed season one. Like what? One Punch Man is so good, Louie. I love that shit. Season 1 of Vinland Saga. One Punch Man, like, genuine... It's, One Punch Man is, like, the only manga that I've read. It's so good. One Punch Man is dog ass? Bro, you have some... You have some horrendous anime takes, Jesus. One Punch Man, especially season one, is like generally considered by like an, a huge amount of anime fans to be like, great. <laughs> You're just sitting as a dog ass. I don't really like animes that do that, Louie. What's with everyone in anime? Anime is a very hotly debated topic. I think it could be both, Kevin, to be honest. What's up, Core? How are you? Enjoy your dart. I think that's part of why I love Freerin so much. Because it's an anime with women main characters. With like zero fan service. There is a lot of animes with cringe ass fan service though. I, it actually makes me so sad when I'm enjoying an anime and it has like weird ass fucking fan service uh, like scenes. It's like really disappointing. It's like, bro, you just you just simply did not have to do that shit. To please the fucking sweaty dorks. My teammate just missed every fucking boost on the way back. I love that. Bro went a cr went down the whole field and missed every boost. And then went for the corner boost. That's awesome. I couldn't just went on, huh? Might have overcommitted. Okay. Good fifty. Nice. Railgun, dude. I know it genuinely ruins some animes for you. I know. It's like, it's so hard because you'll be watching like a good ass anime and then that shit will happen and you're probably sitting there like, no, I promise. They're not all like this. Yeah, Hunter Hunter is good. I think I ate for Hunter Hunter is valid.
it's like really obvious to tell when there's like a woman character written by a man like in the swordsmith arc that i'm watching right now even from just from episode one like the what is the pink and green haired uh hashira's name We like Hunter Hunter for different reasons. Wait, what do you mean? Why do you like Hunter Hunter? Yeah, why is Demon Slayer so bad? Mitsuri? It's her character is written so badly. Demon Slayer is written by a woman. There's no way that she is written by a woman, that character. There's no way. I refuse to believe that. <laughs> Used to watch Sayuka Reloaded Sons of the Priestess that. She is written so horribly. She's written like the stereotypical like woman character in an anime that's like boy crazy. Like, super over-the-top boy crazy. It's, like, so stereotypical. That's why Demon Slayer is so bad. Bro, there's no way. That's, that's just horrible writing, then, I guess. Wow. I actually can't believe that. I don't think it's a spoiler to say what I'm going to say. Like, the fact that she's like, Oh, I became a Hashira to see cute boys and find a... Find a... The... Uh, the husband and oh, I just want to feel safe. That is literally, like, stereotypical fucking, like boy crazy woman in anime type writing you cannot say i'm wrong i'm cherry picking what do you mean it's literally her first lines of the fucking season or not her first lines but in the first episode i'm not cherry picking yeah, I hate Zenitsu. He's a fucking annoying ass character. That's crazy. That's crazy that a woman wrote another woman like that. I can't lie. If you get into Hunter and, and like it, you res respect. Wait, do you not like it? Set your heart ablaze! Tasty! 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 Akaza? Tasty! Inosuke has the same English dub voice actor as Aaron Yeager. He definitely does like a different, a different, more like feral performance though with Inosuke. But his voice is so recognizable. Steve Bloom's voice is so recognizable. I don't even know his name. I think his name's like Justin something. Aaron Yeager's voice actor. Fuck. 
We get it. You're a you're a Attack on Titan meat rider. We get it. No, no, no. I don't want to hear your weeb ass tell me about how dub is so much worse. I don't want to fucking hear it. I've already heard enough from the fucking weebs in my chat about how much dub sucks. You're unsubbing? Don't care. You're an LGBT meat rider, so shut the fuck up. What does that even mean, bro? You have two brain cells bouncing around your head? <laughs> I hate weebs more and more every day. I watch dub because that's how I prefer to watch my media in a language that I understand. Sue me. Any chance of Pokemon, Pokemon today? I should play Pokemon to be honest. Did I watch? No, I've never seen that. Yes, if your opinion is, oh, dub just freaking sucks and sub is so much better, then you're a fucking being an elitist weeb, yes. If your opinion's like, you're not really experiencing the anime if you're watching and dubbed. <laughs> yes, you're being a fucking weeb. Sub, dude, people that prefer subbed or watch subbed can never just be like, hey, you know, I think dub's pretty good too. You know, I prefer subbed. I think it's better, but dub's pretty good too. M motherfuckers who watch subbed can never say some shit like that. Oh my god, you watch dubbed? <laughs> I can't. Unbelievable. You're not even watching the anime, really. Who said that? Bro, do I have to literally fucking go back like one fucking 60 seconds to your chats? What's up, teammate? How are you? Are you fucking five years old, KGRL, KGRL? What is wrong with you? It's your birthday? Happy birthday. I hope you have a good one. That is not what you said. You literally said, bro, you said, and I quote, you watch dumb, bro. I can't. I'm unsubbing. <laughs> okay, but don't say you said some shit you didn't say, bro. That's what I hate about people that our sub watchers and shit on dub that's that's what i hate motherfuckers can never just be can never just be like yeah no sub i enjoy sub more i think dub's fine though you know it's all it's always the most extreme shit sub watchers always gotta can never be civil about it And most of the time, it's because they're fucking weebs. Sorry. Just keeping it a buck fifty.
Bro, you literally just said you're unsubbing because I watch dub and not sub. What the fuck are you talking about? I was trolling. When I do it, I'm trolling. When you do it, you're super serious. Bro, I'm fucking sick and tired of talking about anime. Weebs always fucking ruin anime talk every fucking time, genuinely. Makes that shit so fucking unenjoyable. I honestly don't even, I do not like talking about anime on stream. It's not fun. Hello, Dismal. How are we? How are we doing tonight? Bro, you're literally sitting there. Look in the mirror, bro! Look in the mirror! Bro! You're going on a rant right now! Look in the mirror! Shut up. Can we get a can we get an exclamation point pronouns in chat or I don't think Lucas has got it right a single time. I was literally on your ass earlier today in Becca's stream. Nah, Naruto is a good dub. Has charm to it. Dragon Ball has a great dub. I think Naruto has a fine dub. Cowboy Bebop has a good dub. What's up, Sinusful? How are you? Like, I think, I think, like, most people who enjoy Dragon Ball, uh, like it dubbed. Like, that's at least one of the animes that most people prefer dub or say dub's great. Bro. Thank goodness. Berserk manga arc? W. Hmm. I got you, Lucas. I just saw it like 28 times in a row and I got annoying. No worries. Dragon Ball dub is the definition of a great dub. I just can't hear those characters in any other voices. What's in pain, Louis? All right. I would like to get one more win and then hop on Pokemon. Like, I think there's a lot of older animes that have surprisingly good dubs, like Dragon Ball. I think, I mean, I know you say you don't like Naruto, but I think the Naruto dub is fine. I think it's pretty good. I think some characters are, are voiced really well. Um, I think Bleach has a good dub. I think there's a, some really good Bleach. I think One Piece, from what I heard, has a good dub, too. 
Um, obviously, I haven't watched very much, but Dragon Ball is a great dub, like I said. Um, I think Cowboy Bebop had a great dub, too. One Piece of Good Dub. What's up, Fatoni? How are you? Yeah, that's how I'll be watching it, Fugu. I heard, I, I heard like some voice actors I recognize. I feel like I feel like the Luffy English dub voice actor, from what I've heard, kind of like does an impression of the original voice actor. I feel like that's, I mean, again, I have not watched much One Piece, but that's, uh, from when I've, I've seen it subbed, I've seen bits and pieces of it subbed and dubbed, and that's, like, what I assumed. Luffy for real is a communist pirate. So base for real. I can't get to that. Nice. Claymore? I've never seen Claymore. What's that? Death Note dub is so funny. I like the Death Note dub. You mean like the actual anime, right? Not like the live action or whatever. I've heard the live action's horrible. What's Claymore? Tips on half lit? No. That's my tip. No. Don't half loop. Worthless mechanic. Just do a just do a three point turn. If you're if you're a real Rocket League gamer, you do a three point turn. I feel like the first half of Death Note is meant to be pretty taken taken pretty seriously, no? Renegade Platinum Hardcore Nuzlocke. Death Note is peak? No way, bro. The second half of Death Note is not anywhere near good enough to be considered peak. Great, good fucking touch for my teammate, bro. Really useful. Hi, Exitious. The first half of Death Note is like great. I really enjoyed it. The second half is like considerably less enjoyable. I feel like most people agree with that. Licensed Munch is a crazy name. I'm playing against Kalos right now. <laughs> do you, wait, do you know what a Munch is? Look it up on Urban Dictionary and put it in chat. You'll understand why I said it.
That's so good. <laughs> All right. Uh, yo, make peace or wage war. Wage war. Hell yeah. Uh, someone in my Twitch chat, Kevin. Not someone. Fugu in Twitch chat said it's been described as a less gory berserk if you know what berserk is <laughs> no i would say that munch i don't yeah no munch is not the same as simp <laughs> Watermelon's so good. I'm such a big watermelon fan. I really am. D1 Munch here? Hell yeah. Welcome to the club. Not actually, but welcome. Reading leaks is so cringe. Wait, why would you read leaks? Why would you ruin it for yourself? No, no, no. This is not AJ. This is RJ. Kind of like AJ, but Grand Champion 2. Tragic, bro. Truly, truly tragic. You fucking hate to see it. Oh, I guess if, if you're not, like, spoiling it for yourself, then... I thought you were saying, like, you were, like, spoiling some shit for yourself. I was like, why the fuck would you ever want to do that? Nice. You see that? You're making me want to watch it, Claymore. Yes, Dragon Ball Daima, I think it's called. Is the Berserk anime worth watching? Has anyone seen it? Apparently, no. Yes, no. The 1997 one? Is there like a newer one that's like ass or something? Like I just pref I prefer anime to manga, I can't lie. I don't mind reading manga. I just prefer anime for sure. Tokyo Ghoul Treatment. Hey, I, you know, Jesus changed my life. Oh my God. And they're on my team. Okay. Bro, I can't. Mm, I'm not going to even talk about it. Um. My kickoffs are pretty insane. All I do is speed flip. Do you know how to speed flip, Kevin? Yes, yeah, free run. Watch free run. Convert to the good side. Free run is so fucking awesome. All right. Uh, if I win this game, I'm hopping off. I want to end on a win in twos and threes. I just won in twos. Oh god, please don't tell me I'm gonna get peaked on by 1500s. I'll give you your points back. <sighs> it's 
Excuse me. Sorry for yawning right in your face and not covering my mouth, by the way. Oh, this song's funny. He was right, too. I feel like people have been predicting Betty White's death for a long time, though, to be fair. I just simply could have scored that, and I didn't. That hurts. Feels bad. Did he just say, I just took the condom off and drank my nut? It was delicious? Is that what I just heard? I, I heard that right, correctly? Pretty sure I did. Ooh, it's close. Let's go in! Fuck! Shout out mental illness is crazy. That song actually is pretty funny. It's been a while since I listened to that all the way through. Pretty funny song. Let's go. It's all good. I made 10 crunch wraps. Wait, what? God damn, what'd you put in it? God, bro. This is like next level, man. Holy shit. I've been considering it, Callus. Bro, it is. Ooh, that sounds good. Where's my lighter? 200 milligrams? Bro, what the f... How are you alive? Bro, there's like... There's like actually like a surprisingly large amount of like theocratic fascists in the Rocket League community. It's actually kind of insane. On some like Matt Walsh type shit. That's like an in like of Delta 9? That's an insanely high dose. Was it like Delta 8? Delta 8, I wouldn't be surprised, but Delta 9 a thousand milligrams? Hell yeah, Bright. Kinda, Louie.
Do you know what a firecracker is, Bright? I'm sure you do. You're more, you're less of a weed noob than I am. No, you're, I'm just saying like, you're, you're like correct in that assessment. Making your mouth nut. God, crunch wraps are so good. All right, all right. Let's win this game so we can get off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, that, yeah, that many, put it this way. Whenever I take edibles, whenever I take edibles, I literally take like my, my ideal dosage that gets me pretty faded is like 25 milligrams. And that shit gets me faded as hell. Oh, Braden, you're gonna be in time for, for Pokemon if I play now. Not if you go to sleep though. You took some shrooms? God damn. Bro, there's no, there's no way y'all are taking this high of doses. Are you sure? Are you sure maybe you're not like understanding correctly what you're taking? Nah, it's pretty normal for a weed noob to be feeling shit at five milligrams. This is like some Pokemon shit. This is literally Gen 4 music, is it not? It's like a Gen 4 jazz remix. Kind of going crazy. At once, Fugu? Like, hold on. I have like a chart with like dosages that I'll show y'all. This goes crazy hard. Holy shit. Whoever requested this, W. You requested it? Slightly smaller, W. If you're gonna, dude, if you're gonna take edibles, please just start small and you'll be fine. That's all that matters. Just start small. Start small and like take your time and don't overdo it. I promise you, you'll be okay if you do that. These threes lobbies are fucking horrendous, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. Bye, Louie. Bye. Is it like dosed out that way? Or is it like s serving sizes? Or like, is it like the whole bag that much? Or is like each serving that much? Is what I is what I'm thinking. That's such a crazy high amount, though. I don't think you're lying at all. 
I'm talking serving side, not the whole bag. Cows, literally just take, if you do it, just take 10 milligrams and you'll be beyond fine. That's crazy. I do know that medical dosages are higher though. So, I mean, it does make sense. I've never done a hallucinogen. I kind of want to though. Bro, no, it's not. 10 milligrams is literally like a perfectly normal starting dose. Some people would even say start with like five, but 10 is fine. Can we do shrooms next family vacation? Sure, why not? Dude. You motherfuckers think I'm lying. Look at this shit. You think I'm fucking around? This literally says 10 to 15 is like a moderate dose. Macro dose is like 100 to 500. High is 20 to 40. Just do command skip. Oh, Carlos got you. Acid? I don't know. I wouldn't mind trying mushrooms at some point. Does this line up with actual weed? What do you, what, what does that mean? Like, yeah, of, uh, wait, of what, Bright? Like, look, even this. Look at even this right here. Five milligrams light, 10 milligrams medium, 25 high, 50 very high. So anything above that, is obviously going to be fucking very fucking high. You see what I'm saying? This is what I take. I, like, this is why I'm saying, like, the higher dosages being medical, that's normal. But, like, this is what, like, whenever I do edibles or, like, when I was regularly consuming cannabis, obviously I'm on a pretty long, like, I, put it this way, I would not take 25 milligrams for a while once I get back into cannabis because that's, like, a pretty high dosage. Depends how many milligrams it is, Garbanzo. Like I said, like just be just be smart. Go based on dosages. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Twenty like for me, I was able to take twenty to twenty. Yeah, you posted before cows. For me, I was able to take 20, 25 because like I had a, you know, I had a, a little bit of a tolerance. But again, even here, look.
I'm not just talking out of my ass. Callus, I think you should stick with 10 to 15 max. I would not go higher than that for your first time. What's up, Josh? Like, don't make your first time horrible. You can put it put it this way, Callus. You can start small, and if let's say on the worst case scenario, ten to fifteen doesn't hit you very hard, and you don't really feel it, then you can just do a little bit more next time, and you can do twenty. Maybe you have like a higher tolerance or something, but I would, like I said, just start small and be safe. That's all I want. I don't. I just don't want you to be freaking out or doing badly. It would make me very sad. 25 is high for like normal people, yeah. Yes, what Fugu said. What rank am I? Uh, diamond. Diamond 2. Yeah, honestly, fuck everything I just said. Yeah, I think 200 milligrams is a really good starting point. I think that's a really good, like, starting point for beginners. Wait, also, you got eight... How much... Do you know how expensive that was, Kylas? What's up, hello? How are you? You just gotta, you gotta like get all that shit out of your sight, Lucas. I think sub exists. Like, in the dispensaries near me, a hundred milligrams is like ten bucks. I feel like that's pretty. I feel like 10 bucks per 100 milligrams, I feel like, is pretty normal pricing, though. London Tipton! Sweet Life of Zack and Cody reference. Hell yeah. I used to love that show. I think if your tolerance is getting too high, I think a tea break is probably better than doing higher dosages. What do I know though? If you're gonna do carts, get rosin. More expensive, but better. Yeah, definitely cheaper to take tea breaks too. What's up, Josh Lee? How are you? Your ass at this game? Same. Like, if you if you want to take a tea break, but you find yourself being unable to because of like opportunity or whatever, literally just put all your stuff away. Like, put it in like a room that you don't go into. Or, like, put, put it somewhere where it's not in reach. And boom, and you're good to go. Yeah, carts are not great if you don't have self-control. Nice shot, thanks. Do you think that's better than shrooms, though, Kevin? No, how could weed ever be a drug? It's just a plant. It's like a salad. Weed's not a drug, it's a salad. It's like having your vegetables, in my opinion.
<laughs> Weed's a purge. Shut the fuck up. Weed is a drug, but it obviously is a drug with with medici medicinal uh, usage. Obviously. If you're paranoid, if you're paranoid about, like, cancer and stuff, why not just do edibles? Bro, smoking, st okay. If you're getting your carts at, like, a dispensary where shit is, like, tested and, you know, you're, you don't, there's no worries, then that's, like, another thing. But if you're smoking street carts, holy fuck, that's crazy, bro. Never, ever, ever catch me smoking a fucking street cart. That shit's definitely cut with like 50% vegetable oil. Cows, you gonna do it? You gonna bite the bullet tonight? Remember fucking kissing Kate Barlow? I do not. What's that? Oh, from Holes? I remember Holes. It's 3 a.m. Bro, I want you to do it while I'm live so we can, so you can like document. I want you to do it while I'm live so you can document your like journey through it. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Dude, edibles will fucking have you sunk into your bed. Wait, why are we being mean? Why are we being mean to make peace or wage war? What happened? Yeah, bro, calm down. Weed isn't fucking heroin or meth. Honestly, kind of true. Oh, are, are you talking about the, the study that was done on California carts? Yeah, that shit was crazy when that came out. That's what I'm saying, bro. Stick to rosin. If you're, if you're going to do carts, do rosin. Like, distillate, distillate is just, like, the worst form of carts. Rosin, the process and how they make it, is just, it's just different. It's, just, it's, like, not the same. Like, the way they make rosin, they literally, like, squish the bud and get, like, the juices and stuff out of it. Distillate is, like, different. Like... The way they make distillate is they're like literally using chemicals to to turn bud and stuff soluble and they're cutting it with other chemicals potentially. Like that's why like I'm going to smoke carts, but I'm going to smoke rosin carts. That double tap assist was fucking sick. I'm not gonna lie, Kevin. I wish I remember. Pressure and heat versus solvents. Yes, exactly. What Fugu just said. Like, and not to mention that with rosin, with rosin, you're actually gonna be getting better flavor too. Fugu, you're the weed expert. Can you give the, the pros to rosin compared to distillate? What kind of peppers, Callie?
I mean, hey, you can smoke anything if you're determined enough, right? That's the way I look at it. Okay, I'm actually curious about people's spice tolerance. How do we, uh, out of 10, how do we feel about jalapeno peppers, spice-wise? Six or seven, five, three or four, six or seven, one point five. Pickled jalapenos are less spicy, too. I would say, I would probably put jalapenos at like, hmm, I don't know. I think like a three is fair. I put Takis at like a one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really think Takis are spicy. I like Takis, they have good flavor. I like the blue heat ones, but they're not really spicy. This tastes good. I haven't had flaming Hot Cheetos in too long. I can't give an accurate rating. I don't remember them being very spicy though. Looks like you shouldn't have chose war. Wait, Fugu, I didn't see the first part to your message. <laughs> your spice tolerance, you're Mexican? What would you consider spicy, Kevin? I guess you should have made love, Bryce. Oh, yes. I am going to hop on. I just got caught up in the conversation. Oopsie. I'm kind of like winning my games too, so it's making it easy to just stay. I've been kind of, I mean, obviously I'm pretty low in twos right now, but I've been like winning all my games. I'm going to have to, I'm going to read your messages after. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, oh God. Mm. Distillate is cheaper. Jalapenos are novice? Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I don't think jalapenos are very spicy. I feel like I, I've built up a pretty good spice tolerance nowadays. Diablo Ducky's steam coming out of his ears.
Alright, winnable, winnable, winnable. Yeah, I mean, they're like, they're okay. They're not my favorite, but I, I like them, Kevin, you know? I don't think they're spicy, though. I feel like they have a very strong, like, limey flavor. I don't even know. I don't know how to describe it. Takis fuck you up. <laughs> yeah. If Takis fuck you up, your spice tolerance is probably not great. Yes, yeah, so using solvents and distillate force you to take a purging step to remove the solvent completely and vacuum chamber with the flavors, oil, and that flavor. And Raza doesn't require the purge set. Yeah, see? Fugu spitting. Go Rosin. Rosin is more expensive. I can't lie. Like, it's going to cost you like. It's going to cost you like the same price for half a gram of rosin that it will cost you for a gram of distillate, but it's worth it in my opinion. It's worth it's worth that extra money for a better product. It's like It's like paying extra money for like a nice burrito place compared to Taco Bell. Like, the nice burrito place is going to have, like, like, you know, like, fresh ingredients and taste better and all that stuff. I don't really watch RLCS very much, unfortunately. I did watch the last major, though. How about you? I wish my teammate had passed that. Hi, Kez. Yeah, I think a lot of people be doing that. I don't think you're alone, Kez, at all. How are you today, though? Nice, that was a good boost grab. What is my, like, my teammate is playing very interesting, I think is a good way to put it. Fuck, I am a song good. I wish I could have used my flip to score that. Feels bad. Nice. We get in there, though. I got that. That was a goal. I didn't get the contact I wanted. Oh, that could have been a goal. 
Come on. Let's actually win this game and hop off. That'd be nice. Interesting. How would how would you would all, would like certain brands be doing that, uh, Fugu? Fortnite season five is crazy. I haven't played Fortnite in so long. What's new? That was nasty. Thank you. You're nasty. In a good way, though. The song is always so pretty in my ears. Oh my god, I should have went. I thought my teammate was closer than they were. Let's go! We won a game! Yay! Yippee! Yahoo! Alright. I don't... I think we went, like, pretty positive today. Like, plus 50 or something? Uh, plus, plus 36. Not as much as I thought, but still pretty good day. Pretty positive. We'll take it. You gonna hop on Twitch? Sounds good. Chicken Little time. It's Pokemon time. I'm not getting off. I'm not getting off. I'm not ending stream quite yet. I do want to play a little bit of Pokemon. Don't worry. I'll play at least like an hour of Pokemon. I want to make some more progress. Yo, is there anyone in the YouTube live stream that has not yet um, liked? Yo, anyone? Anyone in uh, Twitch that hasn't yet liked my YouTube live stream? I'd appreciate that. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. I kind of haven't got up for like four hours, so I should probably do that. But um, yeah, BRB, BRB.
I That's a high tech potato. Yeah, don't worry. Callus knows it's a little it was stupid for them to do that. Rosin is king, but I put interesting Fugu. How would I go about looking for that exactly? I'm probably gonna end YouTube stream for today and just play Pokemon on Twitch anyways. Okay, bye YouTube. Love you. Appreciate you. Twitch time. <laughs> you yawned right in your face again. Sorry about that. Okay. I think I already have like four Dragonites. Not to flex. Interesting. Is that, is it like the same kind of price hike as Rosin or is it even more? I'm level eight. What do you mean? I'm level 34. I'm like halfway to level 35. Like, is there such thing as like a full spectrum cart? Or no? <sighs> Ooh, W bridge. Wait, not going to be more? Oh. Interesting. Like, I, like, put it this way. The reason I want rosin is like you know obviously having like the nice taste and all that stuff is obviously a w but the reason the reason that i'm choosing rosin mainly is because it's cleaner and it's like better for your lungs and better for you compared to other stuff you know if full spectrum has the same sort of benefits then that's pretty cool Mr. Stud 9000 is crazy. <sighs> All right, time to talk about Pokemon while I play Pokemon.
One sec. Just slightly adjusting some stuff. I heard Goku, the song's the best song ever. That's all I needed. Okay, I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Nobody convinced them it was smart. Callus is literally a they, them. Well, sorry, not even they, them anymore. They, she. Bisexual, pansexual. F slur themselves. And they thought it would be funny to make that their Twitch name. Somehow. Like, it's not like, it's not like Callus doesn't have the uh, qualifications to use that word, but that's not really the point. Still really fucking stupid to make that your Twitch name. No, it is innocent. Like, obviously, you know, there's a difference when it's like a joke amongst friends who like where it's like a joke and obviously not serious. It all it matters on who's saying it and the context, you know, obviously. This is the playlist I have on, I think. Cows, why don't you do the pronoun extension so people can actually like know your pronouns? I can't see it right now. I can see mine in Kez's. Pink Panther S only has fire, Kez. Not a surprise. That woman knows how to fucking sing and produce. Calf? Wait, you don't rock with Pink Panther S? She's fucking awesome. Oh, wait, okay. So we have to team plan for this fight. I forgot that where we left off was right outside this battle because my fucking PC literally froze in the middle of doing it last time. And we have to redo it. Unfortunately, but whatever. On the bright side, we have a second chance to not lose some bonds that we initially lost. But on the downside, I was literally going to win the fight. So, I don't know. Uh, song requests have to be done through channel points. You can do, st you can do it. It just has to be through channel points. Okay, so we are planning for this double battle right here. Yeah, it's it's basically free. Classic Kez banger, love to see that. Okay, so... This fight is a little bit annoying, but I do think is it finally the run? I hope so. 
Um, I think I think a proper lead to this fight is Camera Up. I think Camera Up just it absolutely annihilates the Bronzong, and it basically just can't be touched by the Wiggly Tough. I think it's a great a great lead. Um, I don't even think I need to give it charcoal. It's plus special attack as well, which is pretty cool. I think we just give this a citrus berry. Why the fuck am I Sunflora? You found 75 Squirtles? Yeah, I lost a run to Sunflora because all I had was a fucking Swampert. Why are you saying, oh, hell no? Nah. Okay. So... Am I playing a normal version? It's a ROM hack. So not necessarily normal. What do you, but what do you mean by normal? That's crazy, Callus. Okay, that that artillery is genuinely so fucking annoying to deal with. Uh it's like it's a it's a ROM hack of Pokemon Platinum. So it's like a modded version of Pokemon Platinum to like make it harder. Like, do we go Politoed? I feel like Milotic is a good answer to that as well. I think we just go Milotic for the Octillery. I don't know. I feel like that Octillery is really fucking annoying. And I think Milotic is the best answer, plus special defense, right? Nah. Uh... Maybe a burned Milotic to boost its. Do I care about defense? Not really. Why Bonsley? Mistrevious best Pokemon. It's pretty good. It's pretty cool. I wish they gave it the fairy type. Oh, wait, there is. I didn't see anything, Fugu. Nothing posted. Yo, Genexter has W? Honestly, Callus, I don't remember. I think it was. I feel like it was like a, a randomized. Oh, on cord. Oh, I didn't even see the call. Oh, interesting. I'll check that out. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I very, I always very much do appreciate you sharing your your cannabis knowledge. Okay, this Hoxacroak is pretty free. I think, you know, Zatu's probably fine. Um, I think this Torterra is pretty good for Raichu. Just in case, this Wigglytuff. I feel like Wigglytuff... I feel like Metang is, is like good for Wigglytuff and Espeon. Um, but we'll get something specifically for Espeon. Um, hmm. What's my most like specially bulky mon?
My face cam's in the way. Um, what is this? This is not a 4 a.m. song. Holy shit. Um, if I was drunk, maybe this is like a 4 a.m. song. Um, I guess I can maybe use Pachirisu for Espeon, but not really. I don't know if... Politoed might not be bad. <laughs> On God, high-tech potato. It would be if you were lit. That's what I'm saying. If I was lit or like fucking faded or something. I wish I had a dark type, man. On God it is. Kyle, as you know, right? Yeah, cl clubbing's not for me, I'll be honest, but... Um, honestly, fuck it. Let's bring Zangoose. I feel like Zangoose can, can maybe handle him on, but it also doubles as a sack. So fuck it. Why not? Azu. So Azu actually wouldn't be that bad, except it's fucking thick fat and not huge power. So it's like kind of fucking ass. So, I think we're going to bring my Milotic instead. Probably more useful. I'm going to give every Mon Citrus Berry, I think. I don't think I need any other items for, like, kills or something. Citrus Berries, probably. Going to be a better play. In high school, that's crazy. I'm not calcing every single move unless I absolutely have to. I'm fine making a plan. I just, should I give, I could give like Zatu like the I think we're fine with this team. I think I think this team is I think this team is fine for this fight. I'm pretty sure. Like, I have a Mon that can answer for every single one of their Mons. Camerupt smokes Bronzong. Milotic smokes Octillery. Zatu smokes Toxicroak. Torterra smokes Raichu. Metang works for Wigglytuff and also a potential Espeon if needed. And Zangoose is for Espeon and also could be as a useful as a sack. Callus, you sure you didn't get have that Eddie on accident? Yeah, maybe you have a fracture.
That would be unfortunate. If you cue the wrong song, do exclamation point, remove. Okay. It doesn't matter either way, real quick. For this battle, we're turning music off. Pokemon music on. And we're locking the fuck in because I want to get through this battle deathless. All right. Let's do it. Get me in. Crazy mode, cuz. Minecraft music? Minecraft music is peaceful. Oh, thanks for the lucky egg. Wait, you made that? Like, you literally made that emote? Digimon theme song while playing Pokemon? Should get you arrested. All right, let's beat the shit out of this battle. Wait, that's Kelly? Oh my God, I didn't even realize that. Holy shit. Guys, that's a crazy emote. That's kind of awesome. Okay. So on turn one, this Wigglytuff is basically guaranteed the Thunderbolt to Staravia. And this Bronzong is basically guaranteed to go for like Hypnosis or Confuse Ray more than likely. But I think we probably outspeed it and kill. But um, you know what? Let's... Let's see. This, pro this probably sends out Octillery. The name theme is Cities. Keep in mind the Pokemon on the right side is not, like, not mine. They're, uh, this is like a forced double battle with the AI. Just confuse them, not... The problem with using confusion, confusion moves, is it, uh... Okay, it doesn't kill. It's fine. So we know we know we outspeed the Bronzong, and Wigglytuff can't do anything to camera up, so... Totally fine. That's why I calc. Last time I gave it a charcoal and it killed. And why does it matter? It doesn't even affect anything. The sleep is a little bit annoying though. But like genuinely, I don't think camera up gets like fucked at all by either of these mons. Oh my god, that's a cr Oh my god! Never mind, I guess. What the fuck? Holy shit, what a fucking crit. God damn. Holy moly. All right, well, camera up is kind of useless now. Metang? I feel like Metang's really safe here. Oh, that was so unlucky, but it's fine. Yeah, I think Metang's a good switch, because even if I get Zen Headbutted here, it's 
Snorlax, can you please fucking do something, bro? You useless fuck. Ah, that was a good switch. I don't know if I outspeed this Bronzong, though. Unfortunately. Um... It literally can't talk to gyro balls and headbutt. I might get T bolted. Mm. I think I'm just gonna go for brick break here. Is that on me? Okay, nice. Dude, this motherfucker just went for amnesia twice and then got put to sleep. I have iron fist. Oh my god, it is that little still. Yikes. I never got Pokemon cards, unfortunately. Very, very rarely. Okay, maybe we actually kill this. That Bronzong literally can't touch me. I should have just went for Iron Head. Just don't pair me, please. Nice, Citrus Berry. Perfect, it's fine. Nice, that. Oh, crit. Nice, you actually did something. Hell yeah, and another crit. All right, all right. Two out of six down. Toxicroak. Okay, you know that's going for a fighting move on Snorlax. And Raichu. I feel like Raichu might go for Grass Knot. Or oh, no, it's probably going to go for Fake Out or Teeter Dance. Um, I think Torterra is a safe switch here. There's 0% chance of a poison move into Metang. And if it goes for Thunderbolt or something, then we don't. Yeah, Torterra is a fine switch. So they literally would never go for a poison move into Torterra. Snorlax is dead. It's fine. I think he still has two more mons. He might only have one, though. I think he has one more. I think we go for Earthquake here. The problem is... Does this have a poison move? Poison jab? That's scary. The problem is I'm afraid of a poison move. Um, hmm. Like I don't think I'm dead. I think I don't think poison jab Oko's me. Surely can't be crit. And then I feel like this is go for. Okay, I'm just staying in and going for it quick. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Motherfucker. Best case scenario, Toxic Crow kits itself in confusion. And I hit through it. Haha, -ha, pussy, stupid ass fucking frog bitch. Haha. -ha. Hell yeah. Hair across is my goat. Come on, Franklin. Damn. Okay, um, hmm. So now I'm a little bit worried. I feel like this is, this Raichu is probably going to go for thun Thunderbolt on the Heracross. I doubt it's going to go for Grass Knot on me. But I do think I'm going to get Poison Jab by the Toxic Kuroka, unfortunately. But I do think that... Heracross kills first. Mm. 
Let's just switch into Zangoose. I think I'm fine. And I think Toxicroak might not even have a chance to attack. Actually, no. Wait, why did it just do that again? Wait, literally everyone on the fucking field was already confused. Why did it do that? That literally made no sense for the AI to do. But, okay. Okay, so I can't... I can't switch into... Don't kill me. I, if, if Zangoose dies, I do not care. This is the, the most sackable. I literally picked this as a sack. Please hit. Nice. That'll make Raichu be doing way less damage. Very cool. Very nice. Oh. It predicted the switch. I should have known. Okay, we got to get this Raichu off the field. So I can send in... Milotic safely. Then that brings Espeon in. I kind of feel like I want to knock off the glasses though on Octillery. I'm doing that. Oh, nice. Good fucking fake out. Huge. Good choice for me. I guess it doesn't matter. And you're dead. And now Espeon's in and I didn't get to get off, get rid of the wise glasses. Great. Alright, well, this is why you were brought Zangoose. You're useless. Uh, enjoy dying, I guess. I'm not risking anyone else. Okay. Now we have a clean switch. I saw Milotic here. Very good special defense. Very bulky. Walls. Pretty much everything the Octillery has. <sighs> Zatu would be not would be not bad if it didn't have Ice Beam. Zatu, Milotic, and Metang are all good for these two. I have an idea. Okay. That's annoying. That should do very little, hopefully. This will make the Espeon almost useless. Crit will be annoying. Accuracy drop will be annoying. It's fine. Citrus Berry is nice. Um, I think I'm going to use... Oh, Dazzling Gleam is a dual slot? I'm 100% recovering after this turn. Nice. My low deck's a beast, huh? Okay, we're recovering here. Perfect. 
double accuracy drop is annoying, I cannot lie. Hopefully fine though. Damn. I'm recovering after this turn. I'm just a little bit, I'm worried about crit, obviously. I never want to let myself be in crit range. So I'm always going to be recovering when I get around half. My Lodic actually is so fucking strong. If I, I'm switching after this turn, I think. I'm gonna like recover one more time and get full HP and switch. That uh, double accuracy drop is brutal. Yeah, I'm switching out. I'm gonna go for recover one more time though. This will get me like near max HP. Octazuka will either miss or do like nothing. Oh, it's out of Octazukas. Wait, that's actually huge. I just stalled out Octazuka. Perfect. Um. Hmm. It's never going for Ice Beam, I don't think, right? Is it? It might be random move. Either way. If I lose Zatu, I don't care either. Zatu and Zangoose are perfectly acceptable fine sacks. But this is a this is a specially defensively bulky Zatu. Actually, what am I saying? I'm just gonna switch right back in. Like, why would I not? I literally completely wall with this Milotic. I'm just switching out for the accuracy drops. And now we just win. I'm a genius, like why? Duh. Just don't freeze me, that'd be kind of annoying. Nice. Yeah, now we just win. I can't be accuracy dropped by Octazuka. Yeah, this is, a, this is a pretty good plan. Literally the only Mon I lost was the Mon that I brought to be a Sack Mon. Yeah, Spadef drop does suck, but wasn't a problem, clearly. Don't freeze me, please. This is a really good plan. This is a really good plan. I plan. I uh, did a good job. Hell fucking yeah. Espeon is really cool. I chose Glaceon this run, though. Glaceon just doesn't get enough love. I'm recovering here just to be safe. Oh, I think it has no more. Dude, I fucking. Wow, my Lodic actually is so fucking good. God damn. I'm very happy with my team planning. I genuinely think Zangoose is pretty fucking useless. I mean if if we're being if we're being real, the most competitively viable evolution is I mean it's uh for sure gonna be gonna be Umbreon, but I like switching it up sometimes. I, I think Glaceon is still perfectly usable. Uh, ice types are a really good offensive type. All right, well, let's go, W. Very, very, very good fight. Um, one death and the only death was our Mon that we brought literally to be killed for a free switch. I think we played that fight just about near perfect. All right, and we get an encounter now, too. Um, We do get a Manaphy here, but, like, I just don't really want to use it, I don't think. I don't know. I'll, I'll get it, but I don't think I'm going to use it. I feel like Manaphy... Or maybe, honestly... Maybe I will use Manaphy, but like not let myself use 
What's that move called where it like raises your special attack by like three stages? That move is just like way too OP. I don't know. I probably just like won't use it, but I'm pretty sure that's the only encounter in there. So I might as well just get it and I'll just keep it in my box. I love Pokemon Showdown. I usually only play like Rambat though. Yeah, Lil Peep has some bangers, I can't lie. Oh wait, Kawas, can you update the deaths, please? We just lost Detroit, the Zangoose. Five deaths. Let's get not Zatu in there. Let's get you in there. And then let's not risk Matang. Let's get Booger Hole in there. Pretty pretty diverse team. We'll take it. Fire Ground, Water Fairy, Grass Ground, Flying. Normal fighting steel. Booger roll is crazy. <laughs> hey, it's a real place. That's usually what people end up doing. They just find like... The nickname theme is like places, like cities. So people usually just find ridiculous name, ridiculous city names. Wait, speaking of that, we have an encounter coming up. So let me actually... Get Breloom. Let's get Portland in here instead of Booger Hole. That is, that is a good Ludwig idea. But that wouldn't work for me because my runs extend over like months. So, especially if it's a longer one like this, like I've been on this run for a long time. How crazy we talking, Kez? I have no idea how I didn't just battle them, but I'll take it. All right. Encounter. Wait, I got to get the fucking egg. Oh, my God. There's no fucking. There's no fucking PC in here, is there? Oh, my God. All right, I'll come back for this after I get the trophy garden encounter. Dick Tower? Hell yeah. Oh, yo! Blissey! We're getting a Blissey! Oh. Zangoose is Detroit. Oh my god, this is an amazing encounter. All right. What city is Hapini giving? Hi, Mar. Ooh, thanks, Kelly. Fighting for your life? When are you not shitting your pants? Intercourse, Pennsylvania? Are you, is it like a cartoon where your toes are gripping the ground so hard it's like peeling the floor? Farty McJ is crazy. What's up, Irritated Llama? Omaha? Nebraska, your hometown? Ottawa? PP Township? What is this giving? Shitterton? Is that a real place? Summoner's Rift? Bitchfield? Bitchfield? Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. We're going bitch field. That one spoke to me the most. Bitch field. 
<laughs> so good. Okay. We have to have an open slot for this fucking egg. Hold on. I don't know how I've avoided all those battles like three times in a row now. Loki, I'm a beast for that. What in the Kez is this song? Okay. Really? I'm not surprised. Any skippers? Fuck the Brits. What the hell? Kez is literally British. You're being so rude. Okay, I had to switch out here, obviously. Oh my fucking crit. God fucking damn. What is this one playing right now? Kyle, you should play Lunch Lady with me. I want... Dude. Kez will play with us for sure. I know that for sure. Kez and I have already played it one time. And it was pretty fun. But we only played it for like two hours max. I think we can have up to four players. And it's pretty good. Like, it'll, it's like one of those horror games that'll be really fun to play for a couple hours and then be good with it, like, forever, pretty much. All right. I think Callus is not a noob with Terraria. Devour, true. Manaphy. All right, we're. I don't know if we're gonna use this. I don't think we will. It's pretty busted. But, um, what what are we naming Manaphy? Manchester, sure. Devour is fun with people to play with. Manchester. What in the freerin is this song? Birmingham. Manaphy, Manchester. Makes more sense. Sorry. Okay. Um, so we got our encounters here. It is now time. Yeah. UK being misogynistic yet again. What's new? Okay. Um We also I did not do the encounter on this route because on this route this is where we get Spiritum and Spiritum is so good for Maylene. It like completely walls. Um it completely walls uh, her Gallade, and it's really nice. What? All right. Just want to make sure I had enough balls. Yeah, where? Yeah, where is they, Chester? It's actually so messed up now that I think about it. Twisted Spoon, W. Wait. Oh, I already got the Great Rod, I guess. I don't want to do optionals. I think I have to do this, and it's like... What is this? Like, Vaporeon and Flareon, I think?
Um, they definitely are cuz, which is nice. Let's get a double attack. Nice. I'm so happy I got that channel back, dude. Like, it's so dumb. It never should have got taken down in the first place. And I stressed about it for so long. The fact that it was so easy to get back is so dumb and just shows that it, like, shouldn't have been fucking down in the first place. All right. Dude, same. Honestly, as I was watching last night, I was watching, like, Terrifier. Like, you know how, y'all know, like, those how to beat videos on, uh, on YouTube and shit? I get sucked into watching those sometimes. And I watched, like, a how to beat on, like, Terrifier 1 and Terrifier 2 and shit. And... I don't know. I'm like, as we get closer and closer to October, I'm getting like more and more of a craving for horror games. Like, I am, I, I want to play them. That's the point, Kez. All right. Let me go to the Pokemon Center, I think. Actually, actually, yeah, just to be safe. I don't want to, I really don't want to risk it. Like, I, the fact that a piece of art can scare me is cool. That's how I look at it. Oh my God. Dude. Bro, my fucking repel ran out right as I went into the grass. That's so stupid, man. Surely I can fucking claws that, right? I'm on four times speed up. And my repel ran out as I ran into the grass on this route that I want to get Spiritomb. That's so fucking dumb. I had no intention of going in the grass without the repel. I'm clawsing that, bro. I don't give a fuck. That's so stupid. I'm not going to fucking punish myself be for accidentally going in the grass on four times speed up. That's stupid. I am already cheating with the rare candies. Might as well go all out, right? Spirit Tomb is a guaranteed encounter, yeah. I passed it. I'm going to go back to it. I just, uh, I wanted to go to the Pokemon Center first. I get Psychic here. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to be going back in there, but. All right. Spirit Tomb time. Actually, I'll go in here first. Oh, wait. Let's do this encounter. We want. We want a Dusk. A Duskull. 
No, Spirit Tomb is not a repel manip. It's literally just like uh, it's like a you talk to the tower. Yeah, Cynthia's team goes so hard. No, oh, okay, nice. Stoop. We we get a Reaper cloth here. No, I mean Gengar is nice, but Dust Noir is so nice. This is fine. I'm not too. I'm not mad about being able to get a Gengar. It's fine. I'll show you, Kalos. I'm about to get it right now. All right. I know Gengar is good. I just wanted a Dust Noir. It's really fucking good, and pure Ghost type is nice. I guess we'll see what, what ability and what nature. I think it's Levitate though. Actually, if it's Levitate, that's pretty fucking good. I can't lie. Where's Hannah from? Wait, true. Oh, fuck. Hannah is French Canadian, but I don't know what, like, province she's from. Oh, fuck, you're right. I don't think she's from Quebec. You think Montreal? Fuck it, we'll go Montreal. Name it Lucas. The nickname theme is Cities, you goober. I don't think there's any purpose to going to the top of this tower. I think I got like a cleanse tag. I think last time I went to the top, I actually raged because it was useless. Oh, stealing, okay. All right. This is how you get spirit tomb cows right here. You literally just talk to this tower. And you insert the odd keystone. Okay. Um. I want to do damage to this. Let me do damage with my Lodic. It woke up after one turn. Oh my god, that did a lot more. Okay, we're fine now. Oh my god, bro. Is this like fucking plus special attack? God fucking damn. I mean, like, that's great if it is, but holy fuck. Okay, well, first try. All right. What city is Spiritum giving? Kala's got a name. Kaz got a name. So, Fugu, would you like one? Or Lucas, would you like one? Lavender? It has to be a real city. Real city, real city. Either, either one of you. It's got to be a real place. A place that's, like, creepy. Creepiest city ever. What's it? Oh, what if, oh wait, what if we named him Salem? That's a good one. That's a creepy city, right? I'm like an hour away from Salem. Salem? Salem's good, all right. Perfect, I'm glad we all agree. All right. Let's go to the Pokemon Center. All right. Uh, now we're going to, like, I guess we can pick up an unknown. Oh, wait, wait. We have another encounter up there, too. We'll do that after. This is really quick, so let's do this real quick. Isn't this song an Ice Age? Um, that's how you know it, dude. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've seen that Ice Age movie. Like, um, probably like no less than fifteen times. 
I used to love the fuck out of that. When I was a kid, when I was a kid and there was a movie that I liked and like we like had it on DVD or whatever, I would literally watch that movie like, I don't even know, almost every day. Hi, Hannah. Wait, Hannah, what province are you from in Canada? I just caught a haunter and it's going to be a Gengar. But we didn't, we didn't know what Quebec. Fuck. I thought you weren't. I literally said, I don't know if she's from Quebec. We guessed Montreal. Oh, man. That's brutal. Sorry, Hannah. Montreal is in Quebec? Oh. I don't know how Canada works. I'm going to be honest. Perfect. Yeah, no, I knew that. Yeah, of course. Well, we... We just named, we named the Haunter Quebec. Homeward Bound? I think I've seen it. <laughs> Give me a fucking encounter. Let's go. We got unknown, y'all. All right. This is just going to be a sackable mon. All right, Lucas. What would you name unknown, Lucas? Mama Wick. Montreal's part of Quebec. Perfect. There's a village named Fingering a Ho. Wait, playing a fool. You're the only one that has a name. Or, no, yeah, Kaz got a name. Callus got a name. Well, the thing is that Salem wasn't really like. I I it was meant to be like a Fugu or Lucas name, but it kind of like was a collaborative effort. Playing a fool, if you want, maybe you can uh, help name the next one. Blue Ball, Pennsylvania, perfect, perfect name for this little critter. Oh, wait, it's over here. Hannah's got good ears. All right. We have another encounter right here. We really want, like, Scyther or something. That would be great. I get fucking, I have gotten a cricketune here every single fucking time. This is the fucking run, baby. Okay, the problem is, I think Scyther might outspeed me. And, like, it will... Aerial Ace will hurt me a lot. So let's not make that mistake. Oh, fuck. Middle Fart? Middle Fart. Beautiful name. Um, I don't think I need to do more damage. Maybe I do. Get in the fucking ball. I'm just afraid if I crit, it's going to die. Yeah, 
Yeah, dude, key whatever you want, y'all. Y'all are killing it right now. Is there any like Oh, seed bomb probably be great. Quad resists, right? Bug flying. Should be good with that. Ow. Okay. That's a little bit more damage. Get in the fucking ball. The sit it eating the citrus berries is fucking annoying. I can't lie. Bro, please. I'm gonna have to switch out after this one. I'm like dead to slash crit. I don't think I have anything I can hit it with. Maybe like signal beam actually is probably fine. Nice. I don't know if it's dead to signal beam crit, but I don't want to risk it. And what's nice is I have recover on this, so. Oh my god. Okay. Well, it's in good range now. Bro, oh my god, what the fuck is Scyther's catch rate? Is it this bad? Good lord. Get in the fucking ball. Please get the fucking ball. Honestly, with that bug bite damage, seven levels below me, this might even be, this might be Technician too. Technician uh, Scyther. Bro, please, like, if it, like, struggles, I'm actually going to be depressed. How many fucking balls have I thrown at this fucking thing? Oh my god, please, bro, get in the ball. Yes, 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 fuck yeah, let's go, baby. Middle fart, is that what we're going with? Uh, that might be too long, I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, it, wow, it's actually perfect length. Is that what you want? Middle fart? Oh, wait, did I spell it wrong? Is it spelled like that or like the word middle? Of course, Kez loves that name. <laughs> middle fart, baby. Perfect. That spelling is literally like how like someone in my community would like jokingly spell something. Okay. That is a huge... Please tell me it has technician. Ah. Uh, oh, wait. That makes sense. It wasn't... Oh, it's p minus attack swarm. Oh. That's gross. Oh, man. That makes me less happy about getting it. No, that doesn't know. That makes me sad. Okay. What's our unknown? What's our unknown looking like? 
neutral. Okay. Plus special. That makes sense. Plus special attack. This shit was doing a lot of damage. That's not bad. I'll take a plus special attack. Minus spadef's a little bit unfortunate, but not the worst, I guess. Ooh, yo. Look at the Gengar we're going to have. Damn. That's a W. Holy smokes. That's a W, Gengar. Holy fuck. Plus special attack Manaphy, too, if I was going to use that. Oh, my God. Get the fuck in here, baby. Actually, so sexy. That's, like, literally the best nature. Honestly, I'm sad about the Scyther. But whatever. Wait, actually, now that I think about it, does it keep Swarm as Scizor? I mean, probably, I guess. I wonder. Scyther was the name that you chose. Oh, wait, not you. Uh, Plain a fool. Middle fart. Bro, we finally... We finally can evolve our starters. Oh my god, I mean to make that 37. This has got to be a One Piece song. What is this? It sounds like it'd be like a One Piece opening or something. Sonic? Ah... That makes sense, too. Wait, how do you evolve Chansey again? Like Oval Stone or something? I think I have one of those already. If I'm not mistaken. More like Naruto? I could see Naruto as well. I never got into Sonic when I was younger. Like, I think I, I think I enjoyed playing like a Sonic game or something, whatever I did. But I never like owned one myself or whatever. I was always a, uh, when I played like handheld games or I never really played Sega games. When was that game released? All right, let's go, baby. Wait, what? How the fuck do I get... I thought Happini was. I thought Happini was friendship. What the fuck? Wait. How do you evolve Happini? Ah. <sighs>
how to evolve Hapini. You can evolve Hapini into Chansey by giving it an oval stone during the day. I guess because it's not during the day. It's not letting me do it. It's kind of stupid. Whatever. Dumb. Let's go until the daytime, everybody. Good point. I think I I think I do need to give it an oval stone during the day, unfortunately. Dude, this feels so good to finally be getting like usage out of like fully evolved mons. Holy fuck. This feels great. Bro, this is gonna be so once I get eruption on this motherfucker. Oh my god, it's going to be so good. And finally, we have a run where we actually get Empoleon. Oh my god. Things are looking up, y'all. Things are really looking up. Who the fuck? Are, this has got to be a Kez request. There is no way this is not a Kez request. I fucking know it is, bro. Of course, Kez would absolutely request some shit like this. Flying fire, water steel, poison ghost. Ground rock, fighting grass. Got some... Diverse typage going on here. Dude, please tell me someone else in here has watched the movie Beverly Hills Ninja. Someone here must have, surely. I used to, that is another one of those movies that I've literally watched like a hundred fucking times. Actually, I guess I can get some usage out of Booger Hole. Beverly Hills Ninja is a movie with Chris Farley, and I. Watch, I literally watched it like I don't even know how many times. I thought it was like literally the funniest fucking thing that ever graced this earth. I thought it was so awesome. God, I used to love that movie. I literally thought like. Instead of shit, Chris Farley would say, like, shit-talky mushrooms. And when I was, like, seven years old, that was peak comedy to me. Kicking it being peak Disney goes to show how young of a fucking Zoomer you are. Holy smokes. There used to be there used to be a lot of pretty pretty good Disney shows. I can't lie.
like there's a lot of dude i don't know there's so many shows i used to love when i was younger do i not have something to boost ghost moves Physical moves, bug moves, ground moves, ice moves. Unlucky, I guess. Citrus berries it is. Kez, you would probably love it. I used to think Chris Farley was fucking hilarious. And that song is in one of the fight scenes. The everybody was kung fu fighting. God, I watched, I literally have seen that movie like so many times, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I, again, I've literally probably seen it like no less than 15, 20 times. That's funny. Lemonade mouth? Okay, that was fire. I did like that. I used to love Good Luck Charlie, too. I loved Jesse. But, like, I feel like most of the, most of the good shit back in the day... Most of the good shit back in the day was on... Uh, um, fuck. This went for amnesia, right? Am I worried about? I'll just switch out to be safe. Nickelodeon, bro. Like Drake and Josh, fucking awesome. Drake and Drake and Josh was fucking awesome. Sweet Life is oh wait, Sweet Life is Zach and Cody. That was Disney, right? Banger. I think Nickelodeon was probably better. Yeah. Oh, Life Orb. That's actually huge. Okay. Adventure time? Yeah, that's like, that's cartoons, though. Wait, I just realized we named, we named Charizard Hamilton, and I love it. Adventure time is a top 10 show all time for me. Potentially top Top five all time. I love, I love Adventure Time. I've never seen Avatar The Last Airbender all the way through, unfortunately. I loved it when I was a kid and I would watch it whenever it was on, but I've never seen it all the way through. Kez, you gotta watch Adventure Time all the way through. It's actually so good. Oh, this is the water route now. I think this is where we where, where we save for today. I've done I've done pretty much everything up to the this point. I got I guess I can do my last encounter over here. Let's do our last encounter. I've seen I told you, I've seen... Oh, my God. Fucking horrible, man. It's fine. The next, the next big battle is the fourth gym leader, Maylene. But I still have... I would have to do... It would probably take me about another... At least 30, 45 minutes to get to her. 
and I don't really feel like doing that right now. I'll do it. We made some good progress today, though. We beat a boss battle. We got... How many encounters did we get today? Like, fucking five, six? We got so many encounters. We got a boss battle. This was a good sesh. We got a lot done today. I've been playing for, like, what, an hour and a half? All right, Hannah, what city should we name this Pokemon after? You can pick. I think everyone else here has had a name. Don't worry, I plan on watching Avatar at some point, like all the way through. I just haven't yet. Maybe someday, Kez. I just don't think it'd be possible in this game. I'm not wa bro, I have so many other shows to watch. I'm wa currently I'm watching regular show for the first time ever. Sherbrooke. I'm watching regular show for the first time ever with uh Ashley. I've never seen it before. Like, at all, pretty much. Yeah, that, I mean, that wouldn't make it work. That would be even worse, because cause I, like, have to... In order for this run to be, like, viable and not take 40 years, I have to use cheat. Minus speed, special attack, Lanoon. Bro, I've had some... Good luck with my abilities, and then some fucking horrible luck. Oh, my days. I know, bro. I, I have never seen regular show. It's my first time ever watching through it. So. I'm going to have to watch, like, Gumball and stuff at some point, too. I'm trying to be more cultured. Yeah, like, Kez, for example, this run already is, like, 20, 25 hours, 26 hours long. And that's with cheats and with speed up. Steven Universe is another one I need to watch. Yeah, like, that's why, Kez, that's why it's so devastating whenever I lose a run. Because so much time goes into them and I have to restart from the beginning. It hurts. All right. Um, arts and crafts. We're going to raid Let me show you what I got. It's these. Wait, like, really? Numbers, I know. Like I know Steven Universe and has some really good music. It's I do know that. And they're cats. So that is. There's Steven Universe that's songs that. that I know and listen Very to cute. sometimes that I love and they're just that good. Ranny, my I see how people I know, Kez. It is. It's so and addicting. I haven't done it yet, so this would be a great time. <laughs> uh, your song, Epic Bean uh, Drop. And then I like the way it just hits your heart. I know. And song Either quests. way, thank you so much for hanging out today, y'all. I appreciate y'all. We're continuing. Uh, today was a good Rocket League sesh. We, uh, we went up... Finally, we um, we haven't even come hours. close to fully regaining from the last sesh <laughs> where we had a tough day with Vekage, but that's okay. We're moving in the right direction, and I'll probably play a little bit off stream tomorrow because I really do want to get my rank up, and it's a lot easier for me to lock in off stream and play Rocket League. And you know what? The more I play Rocket League off stream, it means the less I'll play it on stream, which means more games, so... Variety gamers will be eating. But either way, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I want to continue. I'm going to just cancel this and redo it again. I want to continue playing Pokemon. Uh, I Listen, listen. So obviously, I do plan on doing horror games 100% for spooky season, okay? No, no matter what, I plan on doing spooky games for October. I would, I'm going to try to play spooky games every day of October. I'm going to try. No promises, 
but I would like to do that. Um, so, so regardless, regardless of what I'm doing, like if I haven't beaten Pokemon, if I haven't beaten whatever, I will be putting those games on the back burner for spooky games. But I would love to have played and beat Pokemon and The Walking Dead because Walking Dead like is a game that it's not really a horror game. It's like a zombie game. It's like not really horror, not really too spooky. But I do want to play that too. Like as y'all can see here, I do have The Walking Dead Telltale Definitive Series downloaded and ready to be played whenever I actually fucking get around to it. Um, but yeah, I will be playing horror games and more games and more stuff and, you know, still be playing Rocket League, but also mixing in more games, okay? I have played Outlast. I beat Outlast 1 and 2. You can see the playthrough on my YouTube or whatever. Okay, stream's ending. Love you. Bye. Appreciate you. Bye. Bye.